our special guest is here with us, uh, Mr. Spearmore Smith. And uh, we believe that uh, this is the right moment to speak with him, especially against the backdrop of recent disclosures made by the Minister of National Security recently. It is frightening the extent to which a number of our people are involved in the works of darkness. It is frightening to know and to discover that there is an active recruitment process taking place right now in this land, Jamaica, recruiting uh, persons um, for the dark world in terms of uh, wizardry, sorcery, um, obia working, you name it. it, is, it, it, it it's frightening to know that there is a system set up to sustain it. And it is taking place alongside the system of the kingdom of light. Um, we always know that this sort of uh, system, these systems exist, but the, the, the brazenness and the whole way in which it is formalized such that if you are not alert, you could very well be aligned to it and not even realize it because you're going to a church, um, which um, at the end of the day, if you're not careful, it might not necessarily be the church of the living God, um, the church of you know, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And so I believe that as we share and as this gentleman, this uh, uh, servant of God shares with us his experience in the dark world, um, as a practitioner, a licensed, a licensed, trained, certified practitioner who is now rescued and redeemed by the Lord. I, I pray that as he shares his testimony with us, our eyes will be open and uh, Hosea 4 verse 6 will not apply to us. My people perish for lack of knowledge. You will not perish and you will also help those around you to be more alert. So having said all of that, let's get right into the uh, thick of things. Good morning, uh, Brother Smith. How are you doing? I'm great. To God be the glory. Happy to have you on TBC Radio 88.5, 88.9 FM, The Breath of Change, and Morning Joy Special Edition in particular. We're delighted to have you. I'm happy to be here, my brother. Wonderful. Now, on a personal note, um, on your side, we would want to begin with your sharing. Well, Deuteronomy chapter 18 and verse, we can read from verse 11. Uh, let's just read from verse 10. And, and there shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son and his daughter pass through fire, or use divination or observe times, or any an enchantment, or a witch. Verse 11. Or a charmer, or consulter of, with evil spirit, or a wizard, or necromancy. So this is God's word. This is, these things are biblical. Even the story in, in um, 1 Samuel 28, when the, the witch of Endor, and if we are to say that um, these things are not real, then we are actually saying that God is a liar because he's the one who tells us that these things are real. Well said, uh, well said, Brother Smith. Now, we are going to be going deeper into that matter, but let's again look at a personal situation. At age 14, you were described, you described yourself actually in the <laughs> draft form of your book, which under God will be released in the very near future. You describe yourself as a loose cannon. Um, tell us more. What was happening to you at age 14? Yes, um, some of us would know, especially those who have been exposed, um, who have talked with you already, that at age four, age 4 you were traumatized. Amen. You observed a number of things happening to your mom 
and also you had this encounter, frightening encounter with a gunman and so on and so forth. But tell us what was happening to you at age 14. Why were you so uncontrollable, so much so that you would describe yourself as a loose cannon? Praise the Lord. Um, my father had did some stuff in the past that I am not a, um, really proud of. And so, therefore, after learning why the family hated me, or it seems as if the family hated me, it was all because of what my father did in the past. And so, therefore, what had happened now is that I was a bitter young man because most of my childhood days, I used to be outside, fending for myself. I used to sleep um, out the door, so to speak, in old cubs. And I used to sleep on the tree and all those stuff. So I was a bitter young man and I was really angry, especially with my grandma because I believe that she was the one who should have been there to render some protection. Well, this was not so. And so what happened, I would be get receiving, um, I wouldn't even call it um, <laughs> beating, I would have called it murder because taking a piece of hose or electric wire, or anything your hand can catch on, or even doubling your fist and punching a 14 year old, that must be something traumatic. Well, that's what happened to me. So I was out of control, and that's when I, <laughs> my God, God is just an awesome God. Amen. Just thinking about it now, just, just thinking about it now, just bring tears to my eyes. Amen. Because I was a punching bag. Amen. And you want to say the man who punched me too? The man used to live waiting, the man. Mm. And as you are speaking, um, and as the Spirit of the Lord leads me, um, I, I will take you down, down a particular path. Now, just to backtrack a bit, your mom was abused by your father, because we're going somewhere here, because there are some persons Amen. listening now, and uh, I, I am seeing where there is a youngster listening. There's also a parent listening who is aware of similar things happening the youngster, this was done to him, yes, and there is anger, among other things, and the, there is this mother, single mother, who is listening, and is, she is now identifying with what you are saying. So your mom was abused by your father, am I right? Amen. Do you well, care? Do you care well, to? Well, yes. Well, well, this is the only thing I can remember of my dad at the age of four, and the reason why it is so. Uh, I, I, re I remember this um, specific incident is because during the time when it happened to my mom, I was there and I also received burn. The very tea that we should have had that morning, my sister and I, that is the, the tea that my father poured on my mom from her breast all the way down. She got burned. And even until today, she, seven, um, she's 73 years old now, and she still have bear that scar even until today. So, <laughs> God is just an awesome God because I have so much hatred inside for my father. But it was when I met God as my personal Savior. Amen. That's what God did. He freed me from all those things. Bless the Lord. So what happened now? Because my mom was now a single mom, she would be working during the day. Amen. And during the night, she would have been outside washing her clothes. One night while she was outside washing her clothes, um, something occurred in our community. We were living in the Grand Spain area at the time. And so what happened is that some hoodlums up there did some stuff. And they thought my mom had witnessed the crime. So in a bid to keep my mom silent, they invaded our home that um, a night, one night. My mom gave me the recollection that um, a gun was placed in my mouth at the age of four, and they had now threatened to rape my three-year-old sister. Amen. The year was 1979. Bless the Lord Jesus. And Jamaica was now heading to the eighth election, which was expected to be that of a bloody election. And so in a bid to keep us safe, our mom brought us to Clarendon in a place they call Yorktown. And that is where everything unfolded. Tell us what unfolded in Clarendon. While in Clarendon, it was there that um, everything was all right for the first um, about four years. 
everything was okay bless the lord from about 80 to 84 everything seems to be okay my mom would come down every two weeks as if it were a abadashri amen she would bring down everything that you can think of amen food stuff she would be the one supplying about four home praise the lord jesus and so what happened is when my mom could not make it about in um 85 to 86 amen we begin to get receive some treatment that it trust me it is indescribable yes 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 and what did that do um to you uh what did it do to you well it jamaican talk it turned me not cough you know because at the age of 14 i couldn't read you know do, listen to me I, I i am trying to put the english together but trust me it, it turned me not cough I may have to be honest with you because at the age of 14 I couldn't read. I didn't even go to school regularly, you know, because I was what you call the Andaman. My sister was the cook, I was the Andaman of the family. And so therefore, when everybody else was in a school, I the riverside I fend for myself, I catch fish. Amen. More time I have to eat banana uh, by stolen people um good um um grung. You get me say? Just to get something to eat and these things. Mm-hmm. So Cain was my main meal round here. Yes, yes. And you also found yourself joining a gang as well. Yes, man. Because here we go on now. Me, me never have nowhere to sleep, you know. All right. And there was this um, brother in the community. All right. And so therefore, him now, I am an outlaw too. But him was bigger than me. You get me? So, so any which part him there, they used to there because... Uh, he must him him he must sleep now our old fall cub. You get me I say and at this so my god now forget protection. So he was like a family member to me right now because my family member then kicked me out, you know. You get me I say so at this so I end up now. We end up all a thief people, things and things. You get me I say? But to God be the glory. Amen. Yes, yes. How how what happened that would have caused you to leave the gang though? Praise the Lord Jesus. What had happened, you know? You see, the very gang member where me say I'm a family, you know, you know, say, you say, one cut you some? Yes. Uh, well, one of them cut me there, you know, man. The, the same gang where you're supposed to protect me, start beat me now. So, yeah, yeah, me, me, me just say, yeah, yeah, me can't work. Listen to me. I can tell you this for an, a, as an experienced man. You get me, I say, I'm 42 years old now. If you hide the gang member, them, they are going to turn on you one day. Now, he find about, they turn on me. And uh, how did you escape? Well, to be honest with you, you know, me just start do my own thing now, you know, I just withdraw from people. You get me, I say, just withdraw. I get me, I say, I just start sleep. I go back in them gang. You get me, I say? So uh, that all really is happening to me right now because when, when the person draw the knife on my neck, all right, I mean, I say, then, me and your friend, and you do that to me, I say, boy, you want to show me, say, a him the big man. So I said, all right, boss. So since as you are the big man, I don't want to rule under your leadership, man. And I saw I leave the gang and start doing my own thing. Now, as we are on the matter of gangs, would you speak to, because we have listeners right now uh, in the various inner cities listening to this program. Some of them are in gangs as we speak. I would like you to send a word out to the gangsters. Um, is this kind of lifestyle because uh, as you have said a number of our boys young men males they join up with the gangs because they have been abandoned ostracized among other things abused in their family and uh, they really do not feel apart and welcome among their family but within the gang system they feel welcome they feel like men they feel, they, they, they feel powerful because of the things that they are able to do. They are able to drive fear in, in a whole community and so on and so forth. And, and, and so it, it, is, it, it is very attractive to many of our young men. Could you say a word? You have been in the gang. You have been scarred by them and so on. Send a word out to, them, um, to those listening now. <laughs> young men and even young women. Yes. Listen carefully. Take it from me, uh, experienced fellow. All right? There is more to life than just 
forming a gang or being a part of a gang. All right? You are nothing, or should I say, I was nothing but a gun bag. Amen. That's how it far it reached, you know, because me did all gun to you. Know. Amen. It just that me never take it to the level because when me look on it, me I say, God, me could never go there. So, all right, because there was always an inside of me to say, Look here, your mother spends so much money upon you. Now, let me ask you one question. You're going to make your mother also turn around and bury you after spending so much money upon you. All right? And so this was one of the things that kept me out of the arms of the law. All right? Because I was always featured. Amen. Because I was always under observation. Because me never want one nice man in a car. Can you imagine so much um, anger inside and then being given, given, um, the first gun me make still, you know. You know, you can make gun. Yes, I'm aware. Yeah, man. The first gun me make, man. Then call it one pop. The first yes. gun me make. I learn, me learn it, you know. In our school, you know. You get me, I say? School me there, you know. Me supposed to do school. You mean real school? Yes, man. Real school, man. Me supposed to do school. And when me do school, we now are welding shop and we make one one pop. Mm. Yes, man. So, what we want to make the youth them know, listen to me, gun is not the answer. I'm not asking you, I'm telling you. All right, back track. You see how much dads you used to have before you know, and so therefore it gives you an early retirement. All right, not only does it give you an early retirement, it gives you a criminal record. Amen. And to make matters worse, whenever you pass off, you can't see God's face again, you know, because you didn't do anything worthwhile with your life. No, you're going to die now. And you're going to die in eternity. It does not worth it. It does not worth it. I thank you so much. And uh, a little bit later on, certainly we'll re revisit that. But you also had an experience in what town, St. Anne? Tell us about it. Praise the Lord Jesus. Well, when me, after Gilbert, you know, 89, me come a town. Um, come me out of control now. So then bring me back to my mother. And say, yeah, yeah, me, I feel your problem now. So I drop back in the Grand Spain era. Now look for me, I lag ahead, can't read. Have the experience of holding gun before and then come out Grand Spain. Now Grand Spain is known as somewhere where they said is a violent place. All right, so what happened now? My mom invited me to the church where she started going now. Yes. All right, so I thought church was church. I thought every church was church. All right, and every church belongs to God. So what have happened now is that when I was there at the halter, all right, the bishop came over to me and told me that I should ask God for anything that I need. And I wanted to read that time. Amen. So I asked God to teach me how to read. Of a fact, God did show up at the altar. Amen. But I didn't know him as God when he showed up. Amen. And when those people was introducing me to him, they did not know him as God either. So 15 years later, I end up a wizard. All right. Now... Who is a wizard? A wizard is somebody who, who, let us see what the Bible said about a wizard. Praise yes. the Lord Jesus. Because everything we may, 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 may go by, you know, may try to show biblical proof. Amen? Right. Because based upon First Samuel 15 verse 22, amen, amen. First Samuel 15 22. And Samuel said, Had the Lord has great delight in burnt offering, and sacrifice as in obeying the voice of the Lord. Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice, and to hearken than the fat of rum. 23. For rebellion, that is witchcraft, rebelling against God and his work. For rebellion is as sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as the iniquity of idolatry. Because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, he had also rejected thee from being king. Praise the Lord. So, how did you become a wizard? Um, just by going to the altar and uh, uh, someone who presented himself as a priest of God um, prayed over you and you became a wizard just like that? Explain for us. First thing you need to understand, if you're attending a church and the pastor is not clean, you are going to become unclean. What do I mean by this? You are what you eat. You are what you receive in your spirit. And so therefore, no person that is 
a curse can bless. All right? It is his intention to bless you. And he will try his best to bless you. But the spirit that is on him is a, a cursed spirit. And so therefore, even while he's trying to bless you, the spirit is there cursing you. Well, that's what happened to me. I was cursed. They were trying to bless me, but the spirit that they were in because of their disobedience was really a curse. And so therefore, that's why it's called familiar spirit. It push upon you, even if you're not invited. Good. Now, you said 15 years later you became a wizard. Walk us through that experience, because clearly I also know that you were certified um, as well later on as a certified sorcerer. So, explain the process. So, after you became contaminated, going to that quote-unquote church, yeah. being prayed over by this quote-unquote uh, priest, know, priest yeah. um, you became contaminated. What happened afterwards? Okay, we were taken to a place in what town one, um, I remember it was an holiday, I think it was an Easter holiday that I was on and the church was was um, invited to a place in Brownstone they call what town? Well, there, there's a witchcraft school here in Jamaica, you know. There's a school that teach witchcraft here in Jamaica. You know? You're joking. No, man, serious. There's a place that teach witchcraft here in Jamaica. That place is called Jerusalem Schoolroom. Jerusalem Schoolroom. And it is found in what town? It's like a board house. Amen. Where about, it's about 10 by 10. No, about 12 by 12, yeah. About 12 by 12. And so therefore, not cheer, not in there. Because everybody have to go in. So when you sit down on the floor, there is more, um, it, it, it have more um, people, space. space. So that's where we, I went. I mean, it was there because the, the person that brought us there, he came from there. So he get first um, um, preference. So when I went down there, I was able to go inside. Okay. Because they actually know him. So the rest of the people, them stay outside, but I went inside. I remember when they were there and they were praying and all sorts of things and worshipping. Uh, just wait. You said praying. Praying to whom? Praise the Lord. That is the thing. You, <laughs> praise the Lord. They, they, these people pray normal prayer, like how we pray. For example? Jesus and Jesus Christ. That's really? how they pray. In the Father, in the name of Jesus and Jesus Christ. That's how they pray. Oh yes, every Obia man work in the name of Jesus and Jesus Christ, and he use the Bible. All right, so that means we are going to. I didn't want to talk of differentiate <laughs> between um, the, the the because Amen. there are really four Jesuses, three or four Jesuses mentioned in the Bible. Amen. And um, the distinction really is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Amen. But I didn't want to go there just yet. But you Praise seem to Lord. be pushing. No, 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 no. But, no, no. but we'll, the, hold. we'll hold. We'll hold. We'll hold. We'll hold. What yeah. takes place in that um, uh, school? You said Jerusalem school. Yeah, Jerusalem school room. That's yes. how it is called. Right. And so. What happened now? They would have taught us how, how, how to worship and um, how to worship. Yeah, how to worship. They 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 they, they would. Um, for instance, I was there and um, there was a Caucasian lady. People from overseas come to you know. So Is that I, so? I, yes, man. I know Jamaican people alone, man. All over the world come. And so therefore, what would have happened now? While I was there, this Caucasian lady get up and she said, "Somebody here is living for the Lord. A young man and." He's doing his best for the Lord and the Lord wants to bless him. So me get up and turn up, you know. Yes, man, me get up and turn up. Me, in my heart, I me, mean, I mean, I live for God them time. Me. Cause me I live to my understanding, me I live. So when I get up and stand up now, the pastor was really upset with me because he must said me could have picked up sword. What he is actually saying that I could have picked up curse when I get up and stand up. Because I don't know if the lady was actually saying a me or anything. But Deep in my heart, I know that I did not live for God at the time. You get me, sir? So what happened now, I get up and I stand up. And then the, the lady started prophesying over my life. She said, you received the mantelpiece of Elisha. Now, that is garbage because based upon the Bible, but I didn't know that this was garbage now until when I got saved. Um, um, God began to reveal these things to me. Because I didn't know at the time that Elisha died with the mantelpiece inside the grave. So when she said, I got the a mantelpiece of Elisha, she was actually saying, look here, you are going to operate from the grave. And I didn't know that. Mm, mm. And what happened after that? 
Amen. When I was on, um, she instructed me to go on 10 days fasting. Amen. So, going to school, I would be fasting in the morning. Amen. And then I would carry the fasting as long as possible during, throughout the day. After the fasting, then I realized that they what, were, what kind of fasting is it? Uh, was it um, food, abstention from food, or no? I partial? would eat some partial because I would I would have breakfast because I'm attending school, you know. So I would have breakfast in the morning, and then from from I have breakfast in the morning, then I wouldn't eat again until all the way down to the evening period. So she would have called that. Um, she said I should not use um. I must not go without food constantly. I must just start in the morning, eat something in the morning, and then fast throughout the day. That is the fast that she tell me. Okay, that I for should, 10 days. Yeah, for 10 days. Mm -hmm. After I finish the fast, my God, the spiritual realm opened up on me. When I said the spiritual realm opened up on me, I start to feel a heaviness upon my forehead. You know, like somebody rest them hand upon your head? Yes. Well, at that, I start to feel upon my forehead. I may feel so good now because I get in contact with God. And so because I feel heaviness now, I hear from God according to me. Praise the Lord Jesus. So when I start to feel the heaviness now, I say, yes, God, are you a talk to me? Praise the Lord. And so what would have happened now? I accepted this. Amen. And because I accepted this now, the spiritual realm, I start to grow higher and higher. All right? And so that's how it is. What happened now is that when I reached the age of 16, I got involved with a young lady inside the church. When I got involved with a young lady inside the church, um, she went back to the pastor because it was a love, love triangle. So she went back to the, 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 the next person and said, you can have him now because me finish with him. All right. So when the matter reached the pastor now, the way the pastor was angling it, God tell me to keep quiet. The spirit itself tell me to keep quiet. All right. And so, so um, to clarify now, mm -hmm. at that time you thought that the spirit you heard was was God speaking yes, to you. Yes, yes. But you are saying, in hindsight, it was not God. Uh, to be honest with you, at the time I believe it was God. I am not sure right now. You are not sure. I'm Continue. not sure right now. So what happened is, I know the voice, just like how you're speaking to me now. The voice said, "Keep quiet." And when I was there, I, I, didn't, uh, I didn't say anything. And the pastor keep on saying, defend yourself. I said, no, the spirit said I should keep quiet. And I um, left the church at the age of 16. And I went to a place they call um, Bamboo in Sentan. Praise the Lord. And it was while in Bamboo, amen, um, I have such a love for God, amen, that I find another church and was attending. Now, this church was... Um, um, introduced to me by one of my older sister. Amen. And so therefore, I was now attending this church. Amen. I thought church was church because I was really innocent. And I thought every church belongs to God. And truth seems similar like the church that I am coming from. Okay, the similar worship. I begin to worship with them. Alright, so what would have happened now is that the bishop would always ask me, why is it that you are here? Well, I didn't understand what he meant by that at the time. And so therefore, he would have asked me every evening, what is it that God is saying to you about me? And that, that is him. And I, and I couldn't answer because here is he asking me these things and I really could not answer him. Amen. And so therefore, one night while I was there inside the home and I began to pray, and that's when I knew that something was wrong. I began to pray and I said, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I need your intervention in my life. I may hear the second ball out. You never know what I did there. I said, then God, are you near me a call? And he must say that. So, you didn't know, say, they, they, um, even though the devil worked from two rooms, because the devil worked from the atmosphere, and he worked from the grave. You know, say, the two of them agree, though. Mm. Tell us more. Okay. The two of them agree, because the fallen angel worked from the atmosphere and the grave room. Amen. So while I was in Kingston, amen, honest, an uh, innocent little boy went to church and God showed up at the altar. Of course, He showed up at the altar, amen, because I was able to read within two years. So I know that God did show up at the altar, amen, because that can't be credited to Lucifer, that a be God. But when He have, um, showed up Himself as God, amen. I didn't know him as God. And these things are biblical because in Romans chapter 1, amen, in Romans chapter 1, I when me get deliverance, me know them something, you know, because I never know them something I did biblical. 
Amen. In Romans chapter 1, it said that when God presents himself to them, Amen, they become vain in their own flesh. Yes. Amen. And so what would have happened now? If you understand from Romans chapter 1 to 16, Paul said in verse 16, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, of, Naz uh, of Jesus Christ, because it is the power of God leading unto salvation. He said, To everyone that believe it, to the Jews first, and also to the Greek. Alright? So, what happened is, this church was a good church. But when the spiritual realm start open up to them now, them start grow spiritually, they did not did what was expected of them. First John chapter 4 verse 1 said, Believe not every spirit. It said, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit. Amen. So what happened is, when the spiritual realm opened up to these people, they did not try the spirit. And so that's what they become, a spiritualist. Amen. Um, we are reading from 1 John chapter 4 verse 1. It said, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit, whether they be of God, because many false prophets are gone into the world. This is God's word. Amen. So what did that happen now? I didn't know that these people were false. I really didn't know. And that is happening to our churches today. Many of the people inside these church are innocent. Amen. And they are working witchcraft we don't even know. That's very, very um, telling. It's frightening as well as you continue to share. Just in case you have joined us uh, momentarily, the time is now 17 minutes past 7. We are speaking with uh, Brother Spearmore Lee Smith. And uh, he is a former wizard, um, a trained sorcerer and high priest. And of course, we are unpacking all of that because the aim is not to be sensational. We certainly on TBC Radio, we are not interested in sensationalism. But really, this is about um, awareness, raising the awareness level of the people of God. That now that you are hearing that you must test the spirit. Do not just blindly believe everything you see and hear. You must be very careful. There are other things that will be said. And we pray that you will apply these principles so that you will not led, be led astray or your soul will not be lost. Now, how are you trained, though, um, to, become, to reach the stage of being certified, a certified sorcerer? Amen. Well, after they something they know. You see, after they... Um after the, the, the fasting, the spiritual realm opened up to me now. So I wasn't an average Obeman, you know, so to speak. Amen. I wasn't an average Obeman because what have happened now, the man, the bishop asked me, why is it that I am here? He identified that I was in a higher level than him, but you may never understand what was going on because I was now operating from the fallen angel realm. So I was much higher than him. So because I didn't understand what was going on, he keep on asking me now, why are you here? Because whenever I pray, theme demons lock down. Okay. And now me understand what I go on now, but me never understand then. So when I pray, is demon locked down? Because what would have happened now? Is demon have to be subjected to the fallen angel? Okay. So what have happened now? I was there and I was praying. So each time I pray now, him find out the theme demons locked down. So him keep on asking me, why are you here? But I didn't know why I was there. So what happened now? I was now exposed to the boat realm. Amen. Because the devil worked from two realms. He worked from the atmosphere. Amen. You remember when, when, when um, Daniel was praying and the prince of Persia, yeah, the prince of Persia blocked the, the answer from coming back. Amen. So I did some use today. Amen. And then me come now, start work from the, 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 the grave realm. In Jamaica, we, we are so clever. We name everything. It is called 60 and 61. Amen. We Jamaican clever, you know? We name everything. We call the, the, the fallen angel realm 60. And we profess that, this, that the realm, that the clean realm. Listen to me. There is nothing clean about demons. Amen. I can tell you, a former high priest, amen. And I was not just your ordinary high, um, high priest. I was also a recruiting officer. Well, what's the difference between the sorcerer, the obiaman, and the high priest? Are they one and the same? Um, their duties are somewhat similar, amen, with one exception. Tell us All about right. it. The high priest now would have gone to do sacrifice. 
what kind of sacrifice? All right. Um, we would have shed blood. Like, for instance, would a kill a goat depends upon if the spiritual realm require it. Same like when you talk to me now, the spiritual realm would have talked to the person. Because I was working alongside someone, you know. Because remember, say, me, me, I look at you, see me, so I don't know the remit. So I would be working alongside somebody. So I was being prepared for future devastation. Now, you're saying if the realm requires blood, blood, explain that to our listeners. Okay. Um, there are some times when a sacrifice has to be made, um, mainly. Um, I never personally attend, but mainly the flat bridge would have required blood sometime early. And these priests would have went there, sacrificed the blood by chopping off the blood neck or a fowl, or a fowl neck or a bird, as long as it has to do with something with blood. Now, if this is not maintained, then the spirit that believed to ask for the blood will have to take it themselves. Why flat bridge? Flatbridge is believed to be that of an ancestral, um, where most of our ancestral was um, was um, Joan and Barry and whatever. And so, what happened now? These people, um, these spirits, are these demons would have now required blood. I want to tell us some little simple thing where we where we do as Jamaican. We we curse our own self. We curse where we work. We be not even know. Remember the simple Bible and key. Yes. Yes. We used to take that for granted. Are you thief this? Are you thief that? And the key, I, I will be at that. And the next thing what we take for granted too. You see, when you build a house, you dig out the foundation and you shed your blood. Listen to me. And you cut off the full head and you sprinkle the blood. What you're actually doing, amen, you're dedicating that house to the devil. Amen. And that is why demons live in most of these houses before the person who build their house. Amen. And that is why when they build their house, them can't stay in there. Yes. Because demon already infested that house. Why? Because at the time when you don't dig the foundation, you don't either throw ruminate, amen, or you don't either um, use some form of blood. No. It is said, and uh, we will come back to the kernel of the discussion, mm -hmm. but that there are times when there are accidents at Flatbridge and other areas mm -hmm. that the uh, spirit or spirit had required blood and the blood was not um, given to them. Yeah. Um, so they take it by force. Take it by force. Hence, um, you have the motor vehicle accident and so yeah. on. Is that true? That is true. That is true. How do you know that? Um, the reason why I know this, praise the Lord Jesus, is because the Bible said it. Amen. What, where, what, what do I mean by this, by the Bible said it? Um, we need to understand that this things is no new. Listen, nothing new upon the face of the earth. All right, and we just need to search the word of God because Paul would have told us in Second Timothy chapter two verse fifteen, study to show thyself approved. Amen. And so, what would have happened now if you had read um, the book of Samuel, which is some First Samuel chapter twenty eight? We're talking about from verse 6, the witch of Endor. Yes. Yes. So what have happened now? In order for the witch of Endor to, act, um, to open the rim, she would have, have to be doing some chanting yes. or she would have to be shedding some form of, with her blood or alcohol or something to open the rim. Yes. In order to open, to access to the, the grave rim. Now, this is, <laughs> praise the Lord. This is almost similar to the Christian world because the Christian have to use the name of Jesus to open the rim when the Oberman or the sorcerer use the name of Jesus plus the blood. Okay. That's what makes the difference. And when you say open the realm, what you're talking about? The spirit realm. Whenever you start to sh um, call on the name of Jesus, then it would now be a gateway to the physical and the spiritual realm. The, 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 um, you would have said you've gone into the next level. So you will feel, you know, like when you, you, you feel, um, when you're in a church and you feel, a sense of worship, a freeness. Um, that's actually the same thing. The only difference with um, the next um, rem, which is the Obe rem, praise the Lord Jesus, is a bondage. You are under a bondage and you're compelled. Now, we go a step further. Mm -hmm. um, the sacrifice, the blood sacrifice, we are seeing and we are hearing actually that 
the uh, persons have actually taken it to another level and that human sacrifice is actually being done as well um, in the whole practice of sorcery, witchcraft, wizardry, and so on. Is that true? It is true. We need to understand that um, it is two account. One, if I make, let's just say, I am Brother Smith, and I come to someone, a spiritualist, and I desire to become rich. Or I come for protection because I have a, a, a case, a court. And so therefore, I want to bust the case, so to speak. And so what would have happened now, when I come to the man now, the man would have tell me what to do. First, some of them require that you sleep with them. Most of them, boy, pardon my language. but The homosexual yeah. thing you're talking yes, about. Man. Most of these men who go, who, who these um, so-called shatter are so-called, listen to me, most of them are, 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 are faggots. Amen. Because they have to do exactly what the man say. And so therefore, in order for the spirit to work for them, amen, they have to, um, what you call, desecrate themselves. Okay. Yeah. And this is biblical. Amen. This is biblical. Because in first in first um Corinthians. Corinthians chapter three, verse sixteen, he said, Know ye not that you are that ye are the temple of God. So he said, if the devil can get you if you mess up the temple of God, then God now go in you. Amen. And so therefore the the, the, the spirit of delusion. Amen. And the conscience becomes smear with at, like at iron. Amen. So what will happen now? If them can keep God out of your body, then you would be in your rightful mind. Bless the Lord Jesus. And so therefore, the Bible tells us here in 1 Corinthians 3 verse 16. He said, Know ye not that you are that ye are the temple of God, and that he and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. Verse 17 said. If any man defile, you notice, if any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. So right away, when you, when you have somebody doing all these things, immediately become spiritually dead. So um, the, the, the high priest, the obia man, mm-hmm. somebody wants to bust a case or a gunman, a gangster mm-hmm. wants to be covered, mm-hmm. he says, mm-hmm. right? Um, mm-hmm. People ought to get him he wants to, or he wants to be brought to another level or a realm. Um, the, 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 the scammer and so on would go. Um, you are saying that certain demands are made of them. And yeah. the, the aim yeah. of the demands is to desecrate or defile. Desecrate or defile. And when they desecrate and defile, only then will the spirit of, of darkness come upon them. All right. Let us go to Romans chapter 1 verse um, 24. All right. Um, we're gonna we're gonna start from um, twenty two. All right, this is the the, the, the spiritualist or the, the high priest professing twenty two verse twenty two. He said, "The high priests they are professing themselves to be wise, but they become fools and change the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man." You notice we worship statues, look like a man, and one, and then. We worship bird because I used to call um, um, birds angel, you know. That's how fool I was. Amen. Professing myself to be wise. I was really fool. Amen. And four-footed beasts. These things are, 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 are biblical. But I didn't know these things until I get deliverance. Yes. And so what happened now? 24 said, Wherefore, God had gave them up to uncleanness through the loss of their own heart. To dishonor their own body. You remember when we tell about the woman? Yeah. To dishonor their own body among themselves. Verse 25 said, Who change the truth of God into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. All right. 26 said, For this cause. So once your body desecrated now, you hear where the spiritual dead come in now. Once your body desecrated now, for this cause, God also gave them up to vile affection. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Likewise, and likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burn in their lust one towards another. Men with man, working that which is unseemly and receiving to themselves that recompense of their error. 
which was meat. Yes. So all these are biblical stuff. Biblical, yes. So now, back to the human sacrifice. Um, so you're saying that there are occasions in that realm where it is required that the life of a human being, a child, for example, a baby, uh, uh, or a, a human being, an adult, is required in order for uh, certain things to be done. Amen. So true. Um, what we need to understand that um, first thing you need to understand, all right, if you do uh, what you call, if you visit the Oberman today, all right, then let's just say you visit him in a January. Yes. Next year, January, you have to visit him. You know? It's it's, it's an annual thumb. Compulsory. Thumbnail. Yes. It's a must because if you not visit him next year, what is going to happen is that. If you don't carry the offering where you did do the first, because you have to step up the offering, you know. So let's just say you did shed, you did shed a one blood, a, a goat blood, all right, last year. And this year you know shed it. Praise the Lord. One of your family members go come out. Yeah, man. It all, and uh, why the devil so clever? Because you might take the one where you love the most. So some of the time, your best pick the gun. So the best thing you can do, avoid these things from day one. Because if not, you're going to become what you call a puppet for life. Amen. Until God come in. So what about those who claim that they see results when they go to the Oberman? Because God's, God, God is too slow. Um, so you, you want to um, take out someone. And we're, we're, in the, we're talking now in terms of how these persons whose minds are defiled and corrupt... A businessman who feels, or a woman who feels that his or her competitor is, is moving ahead too quickly. Uh, a, a gangster who wants to become more powerful. A politician who wants to win and ensure that he, he retains his seat or her seat, his constituency. And they are saying when they go to the Obiaman, the sorcerer and the wizard, they see the result. But when they pray, they say, they are not seen any result. They also say the Obiaman, it, the, the results it work fast. Praise Tell us Lord. about that. Praise the Lord Jesus. You know, I was just meditating a while ago now because this is a beautiful question. And I will tell you why. You know why it's a beautiful question? It's because no Obiaman can remove no spirit. Often nobody. Amen. Say that again. No Obiaman cannot remove any spirit of anybody. No, listen to me. Take it from a former high priest. Amen. And at the boat level, men did a work and I couldn't take off it. Me couldn't even take off the one off of me, much less. Yes. I was a curse, you know, and I couldn't remove the one off of me. So I'm going to remove it off of somebody. What happened is you can put a higher demon to suppress that demon that is there before. So it seems as if there's a calm right now because the one that was acting up inside of you, all right? Um, you come to the woman man and him give you somebody aya, something aya. So what that demons do now, it would now suppress. Demons are very clever. Jesus give us a perfect example. Jesus said, look here. When a man is clean, alright, and he's garnished, the demons that once, li that once lived there will, will come back every now and then to find out if the man is clean. If prevent you he come and the man is not clean he will go out and find seven more demons worse yes so what that demons is doing now him surrender him authority that he wants have go look at new landlord right now him turn tenant mm -hmm. just to keep you and i bound in the spirit of darkness and you see if the church start behave like this where a brother and a sister ensure that we do this for the Glory of God. Trust me. We are going places. Remove the name tag from off of your church. Work like all the demons and work. What do I mean by this? They are unionized. Amen. So we need to take away with we name tag. Listen to me. Who are you? I am holiness. That's what we're supposed to be. Not this and that and that and that name tag. Who are you? I belong to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And what are you representing? Holiness. No part in the Bible tell us that we should be X and X. It said be ye holy. Well said. Now, back to the whole matter of the, 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 the philosophy, the belief 
the conviction of many out there and sadly some in the church Amen. is that God is too slow. Amen. Now, so they go to the obia man. They want money. They say when they go to the obia man and they are, uh, you know, to, to, to do their thing for so and so, to get the visa, to get this, um, they get it. Um, you know, if they want to take out somebody, right, in terms of killing them and so on, they go yeah. to the obia man and it happens. It happens. So, so now, explain that. Familiar spirit. What you need to understand is that we are what you call a receiver. All right? And so therefore, as receivers, amen, when the ampa play, a receiver can only receive. All right? Because we were made to serve. Yes. That's why I said we, I use the term as a receiver. Yes. So God is now transmitting message to us. And the devil is now transmitting message to us. So the question is, who are you healing to? Yes. All right. So, whatsoever you are healing to, that become your God, or that um, being become your God. So, what will happen now is that a three set of people in a church now. Tell us more. All right, fine. The three set of people that are in the church is those that who know God, and so therefore they have a perfect relationship with God. Those who do not know God, so they do not have a they do not have a relationship none at all with God, and some of them who know God too much. So because them know God too much now, you know, remember the Bible? Isn't this, 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 this Joseph and Mary's son where we know the carpenter boy around this? Huh? All right. Some of us know Jesus too much. And we know say that God of justice. We take justice in our hands so we go get help from the Uber man. We know God too much. Say my God of justice. So we know one God take the case. Huh? So we are going to help God the panic case. Huh? But I know one thing. Everybody try to help God dead. Remember that I, I, um, gentleman who saw the ark of God rocking? Yes. And say my help of oh God as in touching dead. Yes. God no want to help. Now, when persons seek the help of these practitioners of evil, isn't there a curse upon them? Despite the fact that they may have received what they wanted, what they requested. Bless the Lord Jesus. This is a beautiful question. The curse is placed upon them as soon as they enter the, 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 um, the place of, of, um, to get this thing done. Immediately. Alright, go back to the Bible again. Because the Bible we are talking. Alright? First Samuel um, one, First Samuel 28 verse 7. Alright? Coming down. Paul said, um, Saul said, Saul, that is King Saul. Amen? King Saul said, then said Saul unto his servant, all right, seek me a woman that had a familiar spirit, that I may go to her, amen, and inquire of her. And his servant said to him, behold, there is a woman who had a familiar spirit at Hendor, all right. And so what would have happened now is that these people, like myself, who once was, amen, a form of high priest, amen, we would have now um, activate the spiritual realm, whether by using blood, rum, praise the Lord, amen, dancing, a certain type of music, um, even the, the certain type of beat, what we call the revival beat. These are all the keys that open up the spiritual Repeat realm. Repeat them. The, um, you have the blood, amen. Any For, kind of right. blood. First, let me let me start by saying first they use the name of Jesus and Jesus Christ. All right. So let us just clear that up before yeah. we go further, because there needs to be a distinction here. Yeah. Um, so explain why it is important when calling upon the name of Jesus Christ to say Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Okay. Why it's so important is because you are uh, you are worshiping the worshiping with me right now so you know know if i am of god i am not of god so to to test the spirit that i am in or that i am operating in you hear me saying the name jesus all right so you don't know which one of the jesus that i am talking because i could be talking about the familiar spirit which is the fallen angel or i could be talking about the grave realm because the the, the fallen angel is called jesus christ but the grave realm is called jesus Understand what I said a while ago? Yes. The fallen angel is called Jesus Christ because he is, is Satan himself and he transforms himself. And these things are biblical because um, Colossians, no, um, Corinthians chapter 
Second Corinthians chapter 11, verse um, 4 would have told us this. It said, First Corinthians, no, Second Corinthians chapter 11, verse 4. For if he that commit preacheth another Jesus, a Bible, listen up. If he that commit preach, uh, by the way, I'm reading from the King James Version. Amen. So it said, if he that commit preacheth another Jesus, whom we have not preached, or if we have received another spirit, amen, another spirit, emphasize the word spirit, which we have not received, or another gospel, the prosperity message gospel, we have to be careful of that gospel, amen, which he have not accepted, he might as well bear with Christ, amen, why? Because of this, 13, verse 13, for such are false apostle, deceitful worker, transforming themselves into the apostle of Christ. Verse 14 said, And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. So because you don't know when me saying Jesus, which one of the Jesus may attack, the only thing you said, okay, fine, Brother Smith saying Jesus, but the Jesus who may attack is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Right this so you lock down, Brother Smith. Because you're not talking about the high priest. This Jesus Christ of Nazareth worked from heaven, earth, and hell. The next two Jesus can only work from the atmosphere and grave. Continue. So what will happen now? I was now dear, and so I, we were talking about the keys before yeah, the I. The keys. Yeah. Oh, the keys. Yeah. The name of Jesus is a key to the spiritual realm. So when you said Jesus or Jesus Christ or Lord Jesus, even Lord Jesus too. Amen. Or the last time we hear them now is big brother Jesus. Come on. Jesus is not your big brother. Jesus is your God. Whether you want to believe it, yes or no. Jesus is your God. Amen. So Jesus is not your big brother. Because if Jesus is your big brother, that means that Satan is your big brother too. That's what they might come off with now. You know? That are the new version. The lie they might try to tell. Or the man upstairs. Yeah. They are... Praise the Lord. So what will happen now? When you said Jesus or Jesus Christ, you activate the spiritual realm. Amen. Now to go higher in the realm where you want, you'd have to shed blood. So either you use a goat. Amen. And that is why when you hear people say, the blood of Jesus, the first thing come out of my mind, out of my mouth. Which one of the Jesus are you talking? Because I know Jesus goat blood. I know Jesus full blood. So when it depends, the blood, in fact, I saw me used to tie up church. When me come at your church before me get deliverance, the blood, the blood, and your church tie up. And it depends, a, a fight spiritually, I don't know if you get out, because you don't understand what is going on. These are the things where people use to tie up church. When it depends, the blood, the blood, the blood. If you're going to say the blood, continue by saying the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Make the distinction, alright? The distinction between the two of them. Because if not, you are working obia, whether you want to Believe it, yes or no. When you depend the blood, the blood, the blood. The first thing I did, like I said, but wait, when I drink really power blood, cause remember, I saw so them sustained, you know, the blood, the underworld sustained by blood. So if you know I said the blood of Jesus, you're actually praising him. Amen. But you have to be specific by saying the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Only then will you make an impact on hell. Well said. Now, going a step further. And uh, because we want to uh, enlighten, uh, you know, as many persons as possible. I know you wanted to say some things before I ask the question, Praise so the you Lord. may go Praise right the ahead. Hey, I was continuing the key. So yes. the blood was um, is a key, the, the, whether full goat or anything, and olive oil. That's why when we go in a church, anybody will love rub up. Me, no, listen to me. Olive oil is one of the most, um, where you say no more um, frequent one with them use. Listen carefully. Sorry. Good morning again. Bless the Lord. Now, olive oil is not the Holy Spirit. Right. Listen to me. You see your daddy, my daddy, who is Jesus Christ of Nazareth? Read Isaiah 42 verse 8. I we understand who he is. In the sheer him glory. With nothing or nobody. So when you know I put the olive oil upon the person, listen to me. Why you don't put the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth upon the person? Tap rub up, rub up, and be a yard up. Most listen to me. If the if the God of heaven not tell you, because two times you use um olive oil upon people, you know. If God tell you to anoint the person, because the person is going to step into them spiritual gift. So and everybody use olive oil upon. As you go in a church, everybody take a olive oil and anoint you. No, I know so you go. If God said that Brother Smith is to be um, anointed, anoint Brother Smith with the olive oil. If Brother Smith is sick, these things are biblical. 
Nothing wrong with that. But if you just take up the aisle and everybody will come in, you just say, and I, and I. that is witchcraft. Amen. And so therefore, what we used to do, amen, is mix the olive oil with the Kalanga water. We Jamaican call it Florida water, Kalanga water. So what we do now, before you come, we tip a little Kalanga water. People, Kalanga water is, it have an aroma that open up the spiritual realm and attract demons on you. Amen. So all those people who call themselves Christians and have a headache and I use Kalanga water, the Kalanga water open up your empire. And those headache are not normal headache. You are under spiritual attack. I bet you and win you right now. If you should say headache in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, uh, I rebuke you right now and I send you back to the pit of hell. It left. It will leave. Hallelujah. I'm not asking you. I'm telling you. Those, those headache that you have are not headache. Them, they're not normal. It's your spiritual awareness. God is letting you know that something is wrong. Amen? And so therefore, it's a spiritual alert. Anytime you just... Everything all right. And all of a sudden, you just have a spirit headache. And a headache. Spiritual attack, you under. No, the matter of tattooing. There is the understanding that... Um, these clearly yes the bible speaks about marking the body um, in the occult world much of this is practiced we notice an increase a dramatic increase in a number of persons wearing the tattoos we also see where the gangsters are now wearing the tattoos when you look on the shapes and the forms and the symbols that um, you know these tattoos are comprised of um, you know some of them are so frightening uh, tell us about the whole tattooing situation and the connection with the spirit realm. First thing you need to understand that the tattoo is not just a normal tattoo. The tattoo is really an antenna. You know, like you plug in the TV, but the TV now show until you have it antenna. All right. The tattoo is really an antenna. It's a mark. So you see, anytime you put that mark on you, that spirit, that is a sign to the tattoo that you put on, amen, now walks with you. Amen. And you wonder why you can't survive because you have placed a curse upon yourself by marking your skin. Amen. What is witchcraft? Amen. Witchcraft is actually, uh, is what we said, being disobedient to God, being rebellion to God's word. God said, no, mark your skin. Now we're still doing it. So right there, so you're walking in disobedient, you're walking in rebellion, and you're walking in witchcraft. We Jamaicans are clever, we call it obia. So I just, witchcraft is really hobia. Hobia is really witchcraft. So we call it. Amen. So God said, look here, don't mark your skin. And you mark your skin, you are working hobia. Now, having said that, we will just step away a little bit. I'm going to go back into because I know you were a recruiting officer as well. Amen. We will be um, talking with you about that. Just in case you have joined us 12 minutes to 8 you're right inside Morning Joy Special Edition. We are speaking with Brother Spearmore Smith, Lee Smith, who uh, is a former wizard, sorcerer, and high priest. And he, recruiter. And, re <laughs> and, and recruiter. So Amen. all all in one. One-stop shop, so to Amen. speak. Amen. But God has rescued him and delivered him. We will speak with him later on about his conversion, real conversion experience. But before we get there, though... Um, and we're going to be talking about the recruiting, what do you look for, and so on and so forth. But um, before we get there, you did you did your first one of the first ritual, um, the bath, yeah, in Saint Thomas, yeah, I, I believe, yeah. Now, now, what is the importance of a bath, a spiritual bath? Because these days we see people traveling from all across the globe. Um, uh, I remember when I was in the, in, the, in the West, that was where I had my first uh, placement. The, there is this community in the hills there, um, Maroon Town. There was a church to the uh, lower part there. I had to go um, regularly to, you know, one of the churches was located there. But at the foot of that hill, there was this, um, you know, mother lady. And when I saw, and elsewhere in St. Catherine and so on, near that high school I used to go, I'm amazed to see the caliber of persons and the, the kinds of motor vehicles that come and, I mean, lines upon lines every day. 
and you know and i queried one day those were um, <laughs> few, some years ago um <laughs> what was happening there so quite a number and they had this area where people would go for their bath what is this bath um thing about well plain and simple the devil baptism tell us more praise the lord well it's really um imitating the baptism of G- of, of um, john the baptist so what happened is um to do the bath all right the, the spiritual realm would have tell you what to use whether you want to use, whether it want to use um, bush bushes all right so you would have some particulars bush where you would have to boil and now you would have um, washed the person within you notice when you're baptizing somebody you you smerge them under the water in that is not this case in this case now the person standing and you would now wash them with the water the reason for this is very simple when you wash them with the water all right the, the, the aroma that arose from whether it's alcohol, um, whether it's beer, whether it's cream soda, amen, depends upon what the spiritual realm would have required. No, that would know, have whatsoever um, spirit would have told you no, would now operate to the person. So, as I said before, like an antenna. So, as long as that person now bid, bought in that um, uh, and that thing, when they are leaving, they leave with that set of demons behind them, familiar spirit. All right. So it's really the bath is really um, the the devil type of baptism. Praise the Lord, and it's really to imitate the original baptism of John the Baptist. So what happens when a, a parent um, takes the child to get a bath? Maybe they're going to be doing an exam and they want to make sure the child passed the exam, or the child has been complaining that uh, you know he or she can't sleep, that sort of thing. And, uh, or a sickness, and they say, we have to take you up to so-and-so to get a bath. W- what happens? Because some of the parents do, do say that the child, you know, uh, the, the child has got better kind of thing. W- what happens when, when, when the child is, is placed in this bath? What happens is very simple. The devil will now call back the mongrel dog, so to speak, and put a Doverman there. Oh. oh yeah. That's that's how best I could <laughs> praise the Lord because you see a mongrel dog make wally pan eye so he alert. So what they do now? Him draw back the, the, the demons away and make too much noise and put on bad demons on top of you. So what would have happened now? That demons keep low for a period of time, sometimes for years, until when the child start in a them teen. Then you see the person start act up now. Then you say, then you know the boy start be so, the girl start be so. Because the bath with them get a couple of years ago. Just start reveal itself now. Tell us about the impact of the burying the navel, uh, navel string and so on. Um, is there any thing where you saying, you know, you, you have to bury the navel string of the, the child under a particular place um, which, which, you know, uh, marks that area and, uh, you know, the tree belongs to the child... And that so is witchcraft. So that is witchcraft. So what are you telling me? What, what, look on it, the logic side. Now, let's just say you bury the 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 the, 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 the string underneath the tree, and the tree die. What you want to tell me? So the child die too. Got the child tree. Basically, the child tree. Praise the Lord. So when the tree die, the child die. Life from the pit of hell. That is myth and witchcraft. Amen. Listen to me. You need if you want to bury it under the tree, go ahead. But nobody claim it and say the child tree and the child this and that. You you do it because you want to dispose it. Well, fine. Or if you want to keep it, keep it. Amen. But when you when you have the um for instance, some people would have it to say um when when you 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 bury it under and and and, and the, if, it, if it if the tree is prosperous then the child is prosperous life from the pit of hell god is the one who give who give blessing and god is the only one can remove a spirit our spirits tell us about the water ritual because um the quite a number of persons use the water you mentioned the olive oil earlier about the water mm-hmm. ritual well me used to use the water you know. I used to use water. Can I tell you something with the high priest and things? So I used to use the water. And I use it. And the water working. You know? Tell us. Yeah, man. If, if spirit come in your yard, you can really throw the water for truth. But if you understand, the Bible said the, 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 that Jesus Christ of Nazareth is the river of life. Yes. So when you're using the water, is only a symbolic thing of the original thing. So, when Jesus Christ of Nazareth come, we don't have to use water anymore. Amen. So, when you use the water, it really works. But you're now working witchcraft. Amen. 
So it's a level of of, of witchcraft that um, that um, the, it, it's in the mind that it, it, it render assistant and it, based upon what they are saying, um, it is the, the belief that it cut spirit and it cut this and it, uh, listen to me, life from the pit of hell. What about salt? Salt, they call salt the white lady. Amen. In the, 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 the church world, it is called the white lady. No, it is believed that true we, you know, like oh, we can't eat too much salt. So at the same thing, they want to say, um, evil spirit can't eat enough salt, so he cut them. And, and listen to me, that's garbage. Listen to me, uh, talking and reflecting, but no, I am so ashamed of what I used to do. Yes. Garbage. No, what we used to do is, is, um, is feed demons with rice. All right? Whether, whether cooked rice or raw rice. So you'd have the rice now where you're chewing at your car and your house. You sweep everywhere in your house except this one. Because you know how to sweep out the protection. Life from the pit of hell. Amen. No. You were a recruiting officer. Bless the Lord Jesus. Tell us about that. Um, how did you go about recruiting? And as you are sharing with us, um, parents who are listening, youngsters who are listening and so on, listen keenly. What would a recruiting officer um, in, the, in this dark world look for um, when recruiting um, persons for, um, to, to work and to partner with you in the, in the deeds of evil? Amen. This is a beautiful question. This is a real beautiful question. Because the Bible would have us to understand. Based upon James chapter 1 verse 17. It said every good gifts. And every perfect gifts. Is from above. Alright. So every Obe man started out good. Alright. Really? Yeah, yes man. One of them started out good. What, listen to me. Every Obe man started out good. With good intention and everything. Amen. It just that when the spiritual realm opened up to them, they did not test the spirit. Amen. Remember First John chapter four verse one. They did not test the spirit, and because the spiritual world presented itself to them now, and they did not test the spirit, the good gifts now become corrupt. Mm. So if you go to a woman man now, he tell us I got work him God deep within him heart. You know why? Second Corinthians chapter four verse four. In 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4. Amen. These things are biblical, you know. So if we understand, if we, all we have to do, I'll just read the Bible. All right? It said, 1 Corinthians, no, 2 Corinthians chapter, 2 Corinthians 4, verse 4. In whom the God of this world, you notice it said the God with a, with a common G. Right. So you know, so I see it and it at all. It said, in whom the God of this world had blinded the mind. Why the mind? Amen. Because your spiritual mind is your really the spiritual. Uh, that is what God um, God communicates with. So what the devil tries to do first and foremost is to play with your mind. Amen. So that is why you see a lot of people walking around the street today. Amen. And so therefore you might think I'm mad them mad. I know mad them mad. And the spiritual realm open up to them. So the devil are play with their mind now. Amen. You remember the Bible tells us in second um um in second Corinthians ten verse five pulling down every imagination and every eye thing that exalts itself. So right there, so now, you see some people are walking and communicate with yeah, say, the son they talk, I know the son they talk to. And this fallen angel up there they might correspond with. And so what happened now? A people like them the we would have mostly go after. The recruiter would have mostly go after. Amen. Because one of the things is, if you have somebody that is already messed up in that, the gateway would have already opened. However, what is more deadly? Because they fall in, they, um, that would, the grave room would have worked with, with, the, with the mad people, them, the grave room. All right? The fallen angel now is more unique. Him now find a minister in the church or a brother in the church who realize that uh, who identify that he have a spiritual gift he can pray he can this and he can that and so the church would have identified him the devil also identify him and so therefore when a high priest that is corrupt or a um a recruiter that is corrupt um bless the individual now the familiar spirit start um work with the individual so what would have happened now is because you say christian do like what the bible said daily them something i can't help me you know I will not follow instruction now. The Bible said, take up your cross daily. So this means you denounce and 
Listen to me. Repent, Christian. Repent daily. Denounce in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every spirit that is around you. Uh, that is not of God. This is how you pray. Every spirit that is around me. That is not of God. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You see once you do this. The devil can't play with you. Amen. Because Obeman don't read you the individual. You know. I read you the spirit. You know. He read the familiar spirit around you. So if you run with them familiar spirit. Them have nothing to read. Just listen to me. Follow the Bible. The instruction is that you surrender every day to God. Repent daily. Why? Because we are all sinners. And so therefore, listen carefully. You can't... It, it, it take, you know, say easy for you to get polluted though. Me come at your church Sunday. I'm in a clean. Alright? And me come in. I'm a worship Jesus. I you depend Jesus. 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 And then when me left now, my family spirit left here, you know? So what happened now? Because you start worshiping upon Jesus, 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 the familiar spirit uh, is being entertained. Why? Because he is also called Jesus and Jesus Christ. So when you depend on Jesus, and you wonder why the church is powerless. The church is not powerless. The church is ignorant. I will uh, uh, acknowledge that and I will, will, will confess that. But today is the day God would have sent the light. Amen. And so therefore, it is no more excuse for us to walk in ignorance anymore. Because God has to make himself blameless. You know? Yes. And that is why he would have saved someone like me. Amen. The eyes are that I was, you know, larger than everybody have to submit under me. You know? No, and God to you belong all the glory. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I give you glory even right now. Everything that belongs to you, God, belongs to you only. You need no help in being God. And right now, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, everything that is not of you right now, we lock it down. We take authority over it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we cancel every demon attack right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and we shut it down right now. We give you glory right now. Take over the studio right now. Take over everything that concerning this compound right now in the name of jesus christ of nazareth god we access the realm only for educational purposes and nothing else have your own way right now father every spirit that would try to attach itself we renounce it and we denounce it and we send it back to the pit of hell in the name of jesus christ of nazareth amen what happened a while ago is that i came under spiritual attack and because i came under spiritual attack it means that the compound came under spiritual attack and i had to close back the realm in fact, I had to pray and God closed back the rim. Me can't close the rim myself. I got to close it. So I give him the authority. Remember Revelation chapter 3 verse 20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. God can't come in because he can't go back upon him road. So if you give him authority over your life personally, amen, only then can he act. And the reason for this is very simple. Genesis chapter 1 verse 28. When he made us, he gave us dominion over everything including our destiny. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Well said. But you made it and it was at that point the attack came mm -hmm. when you mentioned Freemasonry. Now, yeah, yeah. the devil is a liar because we, we, we will be attacking that. We Amen. have done Amen. it in the past and we will Amen. now. Amen. Hallelujah. If, if this movement and secret society is of God why should it submit to that power that you were operating under when you were a high priest for Lucifer or the devil because it's a part of Satan department tell us more it's a part of Satan department because what would have happened is that these people would have now signed themselves to the underworld they call themselves the brotherhood Amen. It is also called the lodge. It is also called the brotherhood. And so therefore, what would have happened now? They would have to function under the lesser demons, which is really the, the grave demons. And so therefore, they would now subject to the, to the grave. And that is why whenever they are burying their dead, you would have walked with them dead. They didn't, and when them dead, God, the grave side, they put them in a coffee, you know. Hmm. The, yeah, man. You, you see, one would have tied the... the all right. Two men stand up or who stay by the transport. So what they would have done now, you see the dead, a right hand would have tied upon the person, right hand. All right? You know, right. yeah. Yes. And you, you tie the foot too, and you walk with the dead, go, go, go something, go a cemetery, or where the two of them are buried. And then when you go there now, you cut off back the dead, all right? And then you put back the dead in the coffin, and then you bury it. So that the, the fallen angel even stronger than them. 
Amen. The masonry is just a department or just a portfolio of the grave realm. Amen. And so therefore they have to be subjected unto the grave realm. Now, how, how and why, I should say, would a Freemason want to go to a high priest who functions in that realm that you were functioning? Why? They go there for two reasons. One, in order for them to grow higher in the spirit, amen, or to receive what you call spiritual gifts. Tell us more. Um, it is believed that the more sacrifice that one is made, for instance, let's just say you 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 ever hear about the, the, the tithes and offering. So the yes. more offering you give, the devil give you more. So let's just say the more blood you give or the more or, or um outrageous the sacrifice is. You you behead something or you behead someone, amen. You're gone higher in the rim. And that is why we have so much headless body now, because people want to go higher in the realm so this is what is taking place even right now as we speak but in the name of jesus christ of nazareth we shut down those demons in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth and we cancel them amen so this is the spirit that is let go in our nation right now the spirit where where you find people beheading people why the reason for this is very simple the more heinous the crime is or the higher you go in the realm and the higher you go in the realm and the more higher it demand it demand more so instead of having just one sacrifice a day, you know, you have to step it up by giving. Each time you go higher. And what benefits would, is there any benefit? Uh, yeah, monetary. Would... It's always monetary. Monetary benefits are, you have, um, uh, it, it have to do with mostly the things of the flesh, which is really financial wealth. And um, that's it. Mm-hmm. So you will hear a pastor say, can your passport come and we give you, vi- listen to me, a visa, more if you go to heaven. Give me one visa if you go to heaven. Me no want you give me one visa for the United States. I Jamaica we want to stay. Amen. Because it's when God done with you, so trust me. Everybody want to come here, so yes, yes, yes. <laughs> listen to me. Take it from a farmer, high priest. When God now no, watch what you are now. You see, through the, the government will on the neck. You see, the, the rest of the parish them start kick. Now watch that. Focus on the head same way. Moby at the head. Focus on the head, same way. You know when you hold the neck and hold the head and I squeeze it, 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 it foot start flatter. Yes. Yeah. The flatter when we are saying now what take place in a Clarendon and so. It's a form of destruction. The security force need to understand. Look here. Kill the head. Cut off the, the head of Goliath first. No, no, no. Listen to me. The foot and everything where you say right now, soon cool down. Cut off the head first. Amen. Because what you need to understand, when Tivali fall, you know, I don't have Tivali, I don't have Mobia, everybody run going. You hear me I tell you? Yes. When Tivali fall, everybody with them never catch down there, so I don't have Mobia them there. All right? And so what happened now? Can you imagine? Remember Goliath? Yes. Goliath only have five fingers. You see, when Goliath brother raised, he have six fingers. So he said, if the government now just keep quiet and make Mobia turn the next Tivali, we are going to be in problem. Mr. Prime Minister, and the, and the, the, the fire warrior focus on the head of the beast amen kill Goliath brother amen and chopper because Goliath already fall already the great Tivoli already fall already amen and so therefore what would have happened now his brother which is St. James want to hack up now amen so do not allow it to grow if you allow it to grow God help us amen while we are at because if you understand you know you see how much altar we find in the uh, alleged altar them find. Now, if we find so much alleged what, altar, what, what are these altars used for? Sacrifice. What kind of sacrifice? Both blood and they are all right. Fine. They use blood and they use um, just animal blood. No, no. They, they, they what the best blood that they would they would normally go after is the blood of a virgin. Because what they would actually go for so that's why they target more kids more children so what would have happened now the innocent the more innocent the blood is is the more pure pure um higher the order is so once they they go after that you get me and it's funny because you have some people who sacrifice their own daughter or their own son you mean in movies Well, that's a movie to car really movie you talk. It does sound like a movie. But and you're talking me. about Africa and uh, we're talking and, right here in Jamaica. You have people who sacrifice them on daughters. Amen. 
for sacrifice. Amen. They would have, all right, for instance, this is uh, um, what I, 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 you see, when uh, these so called dance, all right, these so called dance, they will be a man that tell him, say, Look here, what you need to do, you know, I get yourself a virgin, you know, I'm trying to get that. So you see, he, he, pum, 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 and knock, mother, send over your daughter. Listen to me, call the police. Listen to me, if you even don't know him full name, if you don't even know him full name, tell the police, Brother Smith. Call the police because if you send over your daughter, what is going to happen is that that so called Dan would know gone up in the rim because he would have now been with your innocent daughter. All right, so he would have gone up in the rim now. So, what you need to do, listen to me if you don't know my last name, him, him name's Lee, him, just give the police some description. You get what I'm saying? Yes, and listen to me, move out of the community if you have to move out. But protect your daughters, protect your son at all means necessary. Amen. Now, why are high places so important? Blue Mountain, for example, the, uh, and so on. Why is it that they target, um, you know, these places, the high places, to do these sacrifices, to do these rituals, and so on? Because, you know, um, it's, it's good to hear from you. These are some of the things we talk about very often. But you have been there, done that. So it, it, it carries a little bit more weight hearing from you. Amen, Tell us. Amen, amen. You see, all of the things that we used to talk, we were that talk already, with the peas and everything. Notice. All right. Matthew chapter 4, verse 1. We're going to read from there. Praise the Lord. Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit. Notice, it's a big Spirit. Big S, capital yes. S. That means a God lead Jesus up in the temple, yes. up in the mountain. mountain a yeah. God lead Jesus up in the mountain. All right, listen. God lead Jesus up in the mountain, in the wilderness, to be tempted by the devil. Notice, the devil is a teacher. So everybody that going through your stuff right now, the devil can only be your teacher. God are your principal. Amen. So while the teacher give you the 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 the, the, the bookwork which is a trial and temptation, him can't mark the result. Amen. Because him not pure, and him not honest, him a lie. So therefore, even if you pass, him will underscore you. So God not allow the devil to judge you, Amen. nor to judge me. So what would have happened now, even though he have the authority to, to tempt us, because God can't tempt us. Some people say God tempt us. God can't tempt you. Because James chapter 1 would have told us that, that God can't be tempted with evil, neither tempt he any man. Good. So therefore, when you're going through your trial and tribulation, I know God has test you, and the devil assigned to you. Amen. And it can be two reasons. One, God either proud of you and him a boast by you. Remember Job? A boast God did a boast by Job. Amen. Or you can be walking in what you call disobedient. You pull yourself from under God's protection and now you open up yourself to the devil. The reason why they, 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 I bring you to this scripture is because this is significant because Jesus was led up into the mountain to be killed. A flesh him going to put under subjection now. Yes. Because I feel ministry start now. Right. So when in ministry start now, he might go up into the mountain and put flesh under subjection. We notice a God lead him up into the mountain. The mountain really means a place of desert. Yes. Lonely time. You get me? I say, go and have a, your lonely moment with, with God. Amen? And so therefore, um, In the Bible, it would have told us, amen, it would have told us, amen, that, um, verse 9, and said unto him, all these things, okay, we're going to read from verse 7, okay, verse 7, which is, see, Matthew chapter 4, verse 7, Jesus said unto him, it is written again, thou shalt, it mean more, it, it mean no and future, you know, thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Alright? Again, the devil take it him up into an exceeding high mountain. You notice where yes. it said now? Exceeding, may I, yes. May I, may, I, may I answer your question biblically? Right. Why is it that they go to the high mountain? Alright, notice that Jesus was, was slain on Golgotha. The yes. hill of Golgotha. No, yes. Because the devil want to make an open mockery of the hill. Psalms 21, 21. Yes. I will lift my eyes unto the Yes, 121. Yeah. Yes. And will lift my eyes unto the ill yes, from when, when Alright. So what the devil wants to do now is make an open shame 
of the ill. Because when you're talking about ill, it really means to turn your eye to heaven. So what the devil is trying to do now is to make a mockery. Amen. So when you turn your eye to heaven, amen, all you're going to get is witchcraft and sorcery. Yes. The devil is a liar from the pit of hell. Amen. And that is why when he bring Jesus uh, um, to Golgotha, amen, he was trying to desecrate it. The, 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 the memory of the ill where David said I will lift my eyes unto the ill so the ills really become if you understand the, the interpretation of the ill of Golgotha it really mean the, the, city, um, the, the city of Skull, Skull yeah. so he wanted to turn God righteousness into <laughs> the devil is clever you know he wanted to turn God righteousness into a hopeless desolated place so therefore if he had succeeded succeeded then we wouldn't have a church today amen we wouldn't have a place of refuge today because he would have no succeed in turning the the the, the 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 only thing that we know as refuge into a ill of um desolation and so therefore god would have to step in right there amen and so that is why they they uh, they, they never understand the, the 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 cardinal points and so therefore he seek to get the, the altars to the high mountains why because abraham went into the mountain to sacrifice you see how they, they devil yes, clever yes, yeah yes. so that is what they so they are actually mimicking what they what is done in the bible so that is really obi you know, our sorcery amen is making a copy of yes the original yes counterfeit counterfeit now um we want to look at um how do we counter this now that you're on the side of jesus christ of nazareth um and having had the experience in the in, in arguably the highest level in the dark realm um you certainly are an asset in the you know uh, in the in the artillery in the arsenal um, of the church so we are going there but we are not there yet because you mentioned cardinal points mm -hmm. as you mentioned cardinal points mm -hmm. what jumped out at me are prayer watches Oh. And, and, and we need to talk a little bit because it is very interesting how systematic these people of the, of the dark world are mm -hmm. and disciplined and they know the times and the seasons to yeah. operate. So I want you now to tell us about the significance of 12 midnight, 3 a.m., uh, 6 a.m., so 12 to, to 3 to 6 a.m., mm -hmm to 9 go back to 12 midday what's the signal no, not midday not well midday. it's 6 in the evening well 6, six in the evening 6 yes. in the evening I skip over yeah. right 6 in the evening so go through those critical okay. points for us it it's 6 in the evening 6 in the uh, 6 in the evening 9 in the night 12 a.m. in the morning um before the that are 12 o'clock that's the midnight day. midnight and then 3 o'clock that is 3 a.m. Tell us the significance. No, if you understand the significance, it's the cardinal points, east, west, north, and south. Right. <laughs> so what would have happened now is that you hear them saying, we lock off east, west, north, and south. We send Gabriel and Michael from the pit of hell that are lying here. Amen. They are just calling those demons Michael and Gabriel, but they are nothing to do with God. Amen. So they would call the name of these uh, um, angel that is mentioned in the Bible. But these spirits are really demons from the pit of hell. All right. So what they would have done now, they would have sent one to the east, the west, the north, and the south. If you understand the cardinal points, then south would be um, 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock, right. All right. And north would be? North would be 12 midnight. Okay. And then the, 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 the east now would be? Um, that's, that's 3. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And the west now? That's 9. The devil clever here. Yes, and that is never why. you underestimate the devil. So now continue. So now rituals, prayers, and quote unquote worship, All and right. other things are done. Tell us what happens at those key points. Whenever someone, all right. Whenever, all right. You see, you see, from every three month. Yes. You remember me tell about the, 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 the school on our town? Right. Well, every three months, we would have go down, they go give a report. Oh. Yeah. Every three months. You see, the, 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 the revivalists, them, and, and whosoever is a, attracted to this world, the rem and everybody, would have go down there, go give um, a report. What and what them done 
um, what done be in the realm or to, to mash up marriages and to mash up homes and family. So these things... You mean in Jamaica here? Yes, man. Then a report... Same like how you have to give a report when you finish your, your show, your, your props have to write up a report. The same like the police, them go, go do them duty when they come in, they have to tell you what, what they do and what, what they encounter. And the same thing in the revival, in the spiritual realm, man. Continue. So what have happened now? Every three months, they have to go down. So uh, in a brownstone now, you, you would have seen, when you're in a brownstone, in, in a, the art of brownstone, you would have seen um, buses coming down with people, church people, going to Jerusalem school, a report them out here. Yeah. And them out go down there, go get report, go get report and collect other spiritual gifts. So in other words, they turn in their paper, get marks it, and then get other demons, come back again. Wow. Every three months? Every three months. Unless so them change, unless them change it now. <laughs> so, right. Now Amen. So that's everything is now lining up. That's very interesting. So now, go back again. Why is it that when you are in the dark side, mm -hmm. you would want to have your worship, quote unquote, rituals, etc., at these key times? First thing you need to understand. God operate mostly in the day. And that is why Jesus said, the night cometh when no man shall work. So, work while it is no day. Praise the Lord. Don't take that statement lightly. Work while no it is day. Because when the night cometh, the underworld start. So, you see people who are, are, are worship from any time after 6 o'clock to 12 o'clock, uh, all night prayer meeting, you have to be exceptionally careful. Tell us more. The reason for this is very simple. All right. Even those keeping all night prayer meeting, you are now activating the realm of the spirit when the time when the witches and warlock are also operating from the realm. So what will happen now is that all these demons that people call Jesus and Jesus Christ, they are familiar spirit and they are assigned to every church. They are assigned to every community. Because demons are territorial. You remember what you said earlier? Yes. That you have a church when you just started out. And that, um, that church would be... A, a, mother, a woman would be dear. That's down at the foot. Yes, man. Hill. Notice yeah. carefully. Notice carefully. Notice carefully. What you need to understand is that everywhere you go, once you see a church, there is a ray ray nearby. Why? Because demons are territorial. And so therefore, the demons will be assigned to the community or that church. Mm. So if Christians know their right, whenever these people open up the spiritual realm, amen, in the 6 o'clock in the evening, 9 o'clock, 12 o'clock, and 3 o'clock, when a Christian come up in the 5 o'clock of the morning, you lock down all of the activity that take place during the night season. And you have to lock it down by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The reason for this is very simple. Whenever you are being, you know, you have a, a, a case, a court, yes. and a judge sentence you. Now, if you override the case, you have to go off to a Supreme Court, a yes. higher judge. Yes. So, what they do now, they curse the land, they curse the people, and they curse everything around them in the name of Jesus and Jesus Christ. So, you have to go to the high priest now, which is Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the high judge. So, when you call him, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you cancel the two lower judge. That work from the next realm, from work from the physical, the spiritual realm, both um, the atmosphere and the grief realm. So you cancel them, period. Because when these things are not um, are not something they know. Rocket science? No. Well, well, you know, if God has revealed it to you, but I know that may I talk. What I want to say is that these things, you see, are not new to us. When God's in in Exodus chapter, in Exodus chapter seven. This is the first time we, we learn about the tree Jesus is them. All right? This, because man always sin against God. But man never bright enough to challenge God. And the first man challenged God. In Exodus chapter 7. All right? So they have the power in front of them and everything. Because when, they came, when the devil came down, you know. When, when God put on the devil down, you know. Mankind was... God knew what he was doing. You know? Mankind was supposed to be the police officer where they did and keep the devil until God ready for him for judgment, you know. Yes. Mankind free the handcuff. Team up with the devil, free the handcuff. And so therefore, that is why it mentioned in Mark chapter 1, verse 23, said there was a man in their synagogue with an unclean spirit. Right. And he, he seemed to be all right with the man because the devil and the man team up together. Amen. Can you imagine God give you the church key and you rent um, the devil um, apartment inside? 
So what happened is that's what happened. All right. So these are the first time the tree Jesus mentioned to us, you know, because God sent back Moses to Egypt with the rod. In those days, he was called the rod. The rod was representing Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Egyptians said, "We don't want to feel rod," and them sent for them own rod. Amen. To, in those days, they were labeled as a rod. Today, they are called Justus, which is found in. Um, Colossians chapter 4 verse 11 he only responsible for pride and Acts chapter 13 verse 6 in verse 8 he is called Helimus now he is the one that is responsible for the six demons a pride and sex and mash up the church say more bless the Lord so what have happened now is that that is why the, the obey man now would try as best to have you desecrate your body because if him can desecrate your body then you would not have the knowledge of God inside of you mm. to, to, to differentiate good and evil because you would have now desecrate yourself so the devil would have now take full control of you and so therefore the reason why I left the church now the pastor won't fit there with me now yeah man the pastor come and said my brother and he said yes he keep a meeting with me and the man came me in his room called me in his room and me go in his room and he said uh, my brother um my second is leaving because his wife sent for him. I said, okay. He said, but you are the only one qualified. May I tell you about the age of 19 now, you know. So, me are the only one qualified for work with him. But in order for me to work with him, me I figure do. Romans chapter 1 verse 27. Children are listening. So, if you read Romans chapter 1 verse 27, you will understand what it means. It says, man become lovers of themselves. Amen. Leaving the very use of the woman. They boil in them one full lust. So that bishop make a pass at me in that order. Where him have, them time they went videotape, um, you know, um, VCR. So he put in the bloom, uh, he, say, he put in the movie, amen, the adult movie. And when he put in the adult movie now, he might tell me, he said, watch it. I said, no, man, nobody with a fool in it. What is it that you want? He said, my brother, you, in order for you to go higher in the spiritual realm, then you'd have to. I said, look here, good might. I may just go, I may go, go, I may never sit down, never in the room. Me, 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 in this hall. Cause you notice, those people always have a whole heap of young men around them, you know, and a whole heap of young girl. So the first thing started out that got my attention was how they operate in the, in the room because I love excitement. You get me? I said they dance and everything. So I love excitement. So I made it kind of, that kind of draw me. The next thing that draw me to them is that if me see a girl in the church and I like the girl, I go to the pastor and say, Pastor, I like the girl, you know. And the pastor call the girl and when he call the girl you now, then the two always all live like man and woman. We're not married, you know. But we all live husband and wife life. So the, that, that was before you went, um, you became a high priest in the yeah, dark realm. Yeah, yeah. So all so of that, those. That, what I'm trying to tell you, these are the things that they use to attract, attract you. Okay, okay. The, the youngster them. Amen. So you can you can just have loose loose mm -hmm. sexual activity with everybody. These are the things that they use to entrap you. When they entrap you now and you start growing now, then you know about want a woman anymore. Okay. Yeah. He gone over to. If you even have one now, you don't want one anymore. You can't get perverted. The older you is in it, you get more perverted. So you did have one, you don't want one anymore. You want two. Then look more from this. You don't want two anymore. You want, and then you're gone up higher. And then you're nobody want a woman anymore. You start switch over. When you switch over now, you can't come back over now. Amen. So had I make the ultimate decision of having that man with me, or me with that man, what would have happened is that every spirit where in my work, or every spirit where I got work, where I got work with me, would have got through him first. So in other words, I would be the puppet on the string where if me ever use anything, it have got through him first. Right. You know. Yeah, I saw the order was. So when me refused that now and came back to Kingston, I was given my own demons to work with at the age of 20. That's by going to that place in, in um, St. Anne mm -hmm. to, to have that assigned to you. Yeah, yeah. No. When, when I came back to Kingston now, all right, because I now graduate and everything, all right, I got a vision one night that I should feed the spiritual realm. And a lady in the community, I went to her and I said, look here, the spiritual realm said, must feed it. I mean, I understand. She said, buy two red stripe beer. I bought two red stripe beer and I punch a hole in the red stripe beer. When I punch a hole in the red stripe beer and shake, what inside spew out? You see, in the night, the spiritual realm visit me and tell me thanks. And then I was given my own demon. So in other words, I figure work for my own now because I would have now gone in a higher level now. And that is when I become what you call a recruiter. Oh, now having gone through all of those experiences and uh, 
Uh, I am sure many have seen the different messages coming in. Many, their, their, their eyes have been open to uh, a number of these realities taking place. They have been watching the, 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 the news, for example, and we are seeing the many um, children, innocent children who, who are missing, mm -hmm. um, the human trafficking. We are noticing how many persons are now wearing the tattoos, and the tattoos are becoming more and more um, outrageous. Um, people are going to the extent of having skulls and all sorts, goat head, all manner of scary um, skulls and bones and all sorts of stuff. Um, so as you have been speaking, no doubt, and we see the messages coming in, persons' eyes are being opened to the reality, the mm -hmm. whole matter of human sacrifice, the whole yeah. matter of um, the anniversary of each covenant. Yeah, yeah. You are expected to, to pay, to pay, pay, your, dues, to pay, pay your, dues. your dues and each time mm -hmm. you are expected also to increase yeah yeah you can't be you know um at the same level and mm -hmm. so we see how this is also feeding into the level of uh, crime and violence that we're having the the, the grotesque um anus nature of the, the crime and violence, um, motor vehicle accidents, I mean, crazy accidents, many times the um, acts of domestic violence, you wonder, you know, why someone would have done this. Um, you will see uh, dismembered bodies of persons, um, the, the beheadings, and, and so on and so forth. So persons are now, and especially intercessors, this matter of sending their children and their daughter and their husband and their wife to get a bath at by so and so um this person who wants you know visa and this and so on new new car or this matter of tying um i didn't ask you about that um this whole matter of tying like um you know they they, they want the, the 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 husband of of the you know the, that wife over there to leave and to come to them does that thing really work it does work. It does work. What it, what really happened is that um, what would have happened that um, you would have now tell the individual who want to do this act um, to bring a particular um, like a candle or something. So what the the person what the Obama would do now is just tell you to bring um, certain incense. All right. So what you don't know, you just quote the candle. They, they rub the, the incense on the candle and then you would write the person's name on the candle and write your name on the candle and then the Obama will now give you now for burn it in your house. So when you call the person's name now and you would read a particular Psalms because I Bible I use work Obama. So when you work um with the with the Bible now, the fallen angel, amen, would have now um that work with that uh, um particular uh, order would now operate. So you find out say the man start abuse his wife now. And the the so called quote unquote Jamaican talk matey now will start play more loving role. You get master because the man can't find comfort a yard. So him now find comfort at the so called matey. But there is a twist here. Praise the Lord. The twist is whenever that order or that sacrifice need to <laughs> Whenever that order, that sacrifice need to redone or refurbished, praise the Lord Jesus, and it is not being maintained, you now become what you call a punching bag or a beating stick, as we Jamaican would always say, a beating stick. So the man start beat you now. Amen. So the loving man where you think you did have, now taking you for a football. Amen. But it become more worse because you now no go back to the woman. man. And so what would have happened now, even if you go back, what would have happened now in place somebody, uh, something more higher on you. So let come from this now, him kill you. So instead of you now getting the man, you get him to kill you. So these things, listen to me carefully. People, you cannot make deal with the enemy. You cannot make deal with the devil. The devil is not your friend. He is not my friend. And so, therefore, he is a liar. No matter what he promise you, he is going to have in return. Amen. Now, the return can be is either you, your freedom, or your family and their freedom. Amen. But let me tell you something. The devil no want your worst picnic. The best picnic the devil will take. What's the significance of parchment paper? Parchment paper, praise the Lord, is really what they used to... Um, 
is like a what you call you know like when you 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 carbon copy yeah it's a really a carbon copy and so what would have happened now the parchment people when you put the um write the name on the parchment people whether the two individuals all right you want brother simit and and sister jane for, for join together you put the two of them together now and so what you that do now you sprinkle the love portion over it amen and then when you sprinkle the love portion over it now you put it in the freezer because why the freezer yeah seal the love together yeah, freeze the love together. So it's it's a matter of it's a um you're sealing the love together. So the only thing can keep the the, the, the some people bury these things in the in the freezer you know, for years, you know. You get what I'm saying? And so therefore, um these things do have their um implication because after a period of time, believe me, when those things get stale, you're gonna be in problem. Amen. And the family is gonna be in problem, and then Chances are the man is going to kill you, or you're going to kill the man in return. And what is critical, having and us going into all these details, it is to say to persons the moment you rebel, because it's a it's rebellion against God, yeah, man, you rebellion. call or incur a curse on yourself. So, even if, even if you um, may benefit initially part-time right initially there yeah. you see yeah. that there is some kind of benefit mm -hmm. understand that you are operating under a curse Amen. and if that curse is not broken if you don't repent to almighty god in christ right yeah. jesus christ of nazareth yeah. then yeah. certainly you shall be d damned or doomed yeah. yeah okay and so this is not to encourage persons to practice but it is basically to say to persons these are things happening right around you now another thing i'll ask you because you were in that realm and so on before the the, the significance of sprinkling powder you have some persons they may get some powder sprinkle um, at the workplace where a particular individual sits or on the desk because they are you know, maybe they want to get out the person out of it and so on. Those things really work? Yeah, yeah. Those things really work. Depends upon who doing it. Because what you need to understand, all right, let us go back to to um, First Samuel. No, not First Samuel, but um, Exodus chapter 7. Sorry, Exodus chapter 7. That's where it all begins, you know. Because everything will happen in the Bible. All right? Notice, Exodus chapter 7, verse 11. All right? Here is God sending back Moses to Egypt. When he sent back Moses to Egypt, he sent him back with the rod, which represents Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Now, here we are now. Then Pharaoh also called his wise men. When you're talking about wise men, you're talking about, um, remember, professing themselves to be wise, they yes. become fool. Romans chapter 1, verse. Um, so, so they become, they be, um, professing themselves to become wise, they become fool. So, are the wise men. The wise man is called, listen carefully, the Bible said they call the wise man. You see, anytime you feel to say you, you, you know too much, you're in a problem. Listen to me. That's why God said be humble. God resisted the proud. So even if you know, you don't know. Because holy part thing me learned since Mr. Nessa in number of God. You're my pastor, you're a man of God. A holy part thing me teach you, you teach me from me know, you know. First thing is humility. Because when me come here, you need to see me. And that is, listen to me, that alone in itself, perhaps one of the ingredients where God wants me to get. Because sometimes God allows you to meet some people so that they can impart something in your life. Amen. And so therefore, he wanted me to understand that humility. You can't do high. Because there are some time, in a, my brother, when me have to ask God, God, please. Because man just want to be seen, you know. So me have to be careful because if me don't know what me I do, gone back a square one but the devil is a liar because it is more attractive on God's side yeah. you know why I say it's more attractive on God's side when I was on the devil's side I couldn't see on God's side because the secret of the Lord is with them that fear him Amen. but now that I am on God's side I can see both sides good and evil when the Lord give me permission to alright so I don't me not just sap my finger so I can't see good and evil no and then a magician portion around here Amen. it's when God give me the authority to 
then I can see on both sides. And so therefore, what would have happened here now is that the wise men and the sorcerer. Notice it's a, a wise man. So anytime wise man is speaking of, you're talking about magician. Kaita, go down, go tell who is the magician, the, the, the wise man is. Now the magician, you notice I'll be a magician in the church now. Come and carry your passport and pastor pray for me. I may get visa to go to the United States of America. Okay, fine. Did the pastor pray somebody out of hell? Did the pastor um take the passport of somebody that is spiritually born and free them from the pit of hell? Remember Isaiah 60, 60 coming out. So without you doing that, listen to me, your visa to the United States can stay car. We have a song we said a Yahweh Barn and we now run away. Listen to me. Me no mind go away, go travel and come back still in a car for the educational purpose. But you say you wish for me live down a two mile, a down there so God put me in. I mean tell you why God put me down there. You see now 2009, down there did a rain. When me say rain, I saw me know a Christian for know them right. Down there did a rain when they call badness a down there so. When me just go down there, some man I walk up and down with them gun. I miss the God, I don't say you put me. But when he put me down there, I realize why he put me down there. He put me down there because in a 2007, some men want to kill me. When Listen to me. Government of Mr. Prime Minister, if you want to get rid of these guys on the street, you have to go after those big colors. Amen. Praise the Lord. So what have happened now? $140,000 when they pay me, you know. I don't mean, call no name, but God showed me you. Amen. But I don't mean, call your name. Praise the Lord. So what happened now? They wanted the police to kill me. So because they wanted the police to kill me now, because God would have loved me now to understand what is going on, God sent me down to Ellison Police Station. And when I go in there, I said, Good morning, CIBC office. Because God tell me to go in there. Because I run from them all along, you know. And God said, Go in there. And when I go in there, um, in 2007, I said, Good morning. He said, my name is P. Moore Lee Smith. And as Mr. Sir, the man draw him cheer. I now mean, call your name, boss, but big up. Amen. He pulled him cheer. When he pulled him cheer, he said, you name Spear? And I said, yes, sir. He said, but wait, when I hear about you, because me tap work over now, you know. So the devil knows me know too much. So he might use the agent now to get rid of me. And the agent was available was the police force. Amen. So they wanted to use the police now to get rid of me. You remember Michael Jackson? He came out of the Illuminati and decided, but one thing Michael Jackson did wrong, he should have run to God first before he started spilling God. He run and then he started spilling God. You can't fight demons by yourself. You only can fight demons with and through the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That is your only protection. Amen. And so what would have happened now? Because I know so much. The dev, devil want to keep me silent. And so what would happen that the police force now, some, some corrupt cop inside it would have write in the book. And what they write in the book now, that's what would have been against me even until today. So what would have happened now is that when I was there and when I went into the, the, the gentleman, the gentleman said, look here. What them tell me, I didn't go up on the phone. Police know, they, they, listen to me. Most of the gang members who are going with things, some police know them. They keep, listen to me, the key player of them, police know them, but because they are affiliated with some quote-unquote political parties and some political, listen to me. Same like where Herod, um, Pilate did. Notice, Pilate could have let Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you know. But because he must seek fame, him, listen to me. Let law and justice take courts in our country and stop seek friendship from listen to me. You are you are friendship, seek God friendship. Because if you don't do that, in the last end, Galatians chapter six, verse seven. Amen. Be not deceived, God is not mock. Whatsoever you plant, you are gonna rape. Amen. So if you're seeking big name and big tiger, seek God. Because if you seek the 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 the, 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 the um the, the, the witness of man, the witness of God is more eloquent and more higher. So what have happened now, that when we went in and talked to the man, the man called and said, look here, what you say about the man, you know, me, the man sitting in front of me and I know him, you know, because the description where you give, and they come in at tears now, you know, and him said, write this up, the, the 1,000, the um, 140,000 come off of my head, because there was a bounty hunter, mm -hmm. bounty hunter on my head. God is indeed amazing. Now, tell us about your conversion, your real conversion experience, where you turn your life over Praise to Jesus Lord. Christ. 
of Nazareth. When did that happen? And describe the experience. Praise the Lord Jesus. This is an awesome experience. And the reason why I said this is an awesome experience because it took place right now at the police station. Tell us more. Okay. Remember, me tell you said um, a Oberman can um, can 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 only place the curse. In other words, he can open the doorway, uh, but whatsoever come out, he can he can angle it. He can he can govern it because the spirit then can man can govern the spirit. But he can open the door and let him in, but he can govern. All right. Um, so what would have happened now that the, the, the door was now open, here was I, possessed from, two to, uh, from, um, 18, from about 89. Possessed from about 89. Sorry, from about 89. So the year when I got um, converted now was to the ending of, um, going to the ending of, um, it was December 2004. Yeah. Heading to the ending of the year, 2004. And when I was there, um, what happened is I was along with this woman. Amen. And we were living at 15 Milk Avenue. 15 Milk Avenue. Praise the Lord. Now, Milk Avenue is right before the police station. So what was happening is that um, the young lady that I was seeing was... We were actually in an open relationship. She had, she, we Jamaican call it bun. She had given me bun, me had given her bun. So what would have happened now? Me came home the, the, the evening and she never knew me in the house. So me hear her make a date with somebody. So being that I was so out of control, so to speak, all right, demon possessed and everything, um, I heard her making the appointment with the gentleman. So when she came out of the bathroom, I said, you're not easy. And she said, what do you mean? I said, I hear everything where you say a while ago on the phone. I don't hear him say, but I hear your side. And I said, you really look at the person at the house? Where we did? You're not the real house? So, what should I do now? I tell the person, say, I'm not the woman. So, right there now, I have one napstack on my back. Because you see me walking with my napstack, see me. I always have a napstack. But the napstack there now, when different, because the napstack there, I want half a last me to have it in there. Because me always... It show me a countryman. Yeah, yeah, the tone of voice. Show me a countryman. Me always say, nobody na do me nothing at home. So me always have a napstack with a half a last night. All right? So that day, you know, me take off the napstack off of me and me swing the napstack on the liquor in her head. But before she go into the bathroom, she did put on one pot of water on the fire. So I don't know if it was an intentional thing or something. But when she turned off the stove now, me start run. Because I realized what she had to come say she had to take up the towel. Remember, my mother get burned from the front. No, when me run off now, the pot of hot water in my back. So when it in a, a, a pot of water in my back now, when me ease off the shirt, the skin come off in the shirt. All right? So as she run, me hold on to her now, and me have the knife in my hand. Can me take the knife out of the bag now? You cut us out of the bag now, and me have the knife in my hand. And me say, you know, say, I show me love you, make me not kill you. And she said, eh? and she had did that and I cry. And I me say, you know, say, me can't believe say you burn me up. You know? Me know what me do was wrong, but me wouldn't take it to the extreme. And I have the knife in my hand and couldn't cut her. And when me let her go now, her son start crying. I said, and um, Glenn over there, I, I, I go kill mommy. I saw them call affectionate brother Simit Glenn, praise the Lord. So what them do now, them give her, them, me let her go now and she run over the, the next door yard. So me I run after her now, call the demons and turn up in me now, you know. You get what I say? When when me will her, God was in control. But when she run off now, the demons turn up in me now. So you cannot let her go and she do you that. So I rush after her now. So when I go to the road, I two police me say. And they say, yo, come here. And same time as I see them, I fling with the knife. I'm fling it as far as possible. Because I don't want them to shoot me now and tell me, say, you get what I say? Because I, so I fling with the knife as far as possible. And when I fling with the knife, the, the gentleman come up. One box, boom! And when he box me, I'm a japa gun. At the same man and my woman, the power phone, you know. One policeman was giving me bun. Now the policeman come up, become different new woman. Praise the Lord Jesus. Let me tell you something. The devil is crafty, you know. The devil is so crafty. So what happened now? When him come up now for defending woman now, me slung there. No, me, me down panic wrong and me get up. Cause me decide say me now nah go make him kick me panic wrong. So me get up back. So he grab me now. Cause me without shirt now. So he grab me now in my pants and him all me down. Him draw me down at the um down at the station, down at Rallington Town Police Station, and me get one shirt and me put on. Oh, me get the shirt now and put on. And in at the station, cause them tell tell her if he send a shirt come give me. So me get a shirt now and put on and 
a four chair in the guard house in the detaining room. And while the police them did that process me and that thing. And then I start pray. I said, God, I asked him there, you know. And see it, I start to show God the, the, the handcuff. I said, see, see bangle, you know, God. A long time you called me. Because through the pastor, they go make a pass at me now. I tap go church, I tap calling the name of Jesus. Because when I call the name of Jesus and Jesus Christ, a demons come to me. So I stop calling upon the name of Jesus. And, and for 12 years now, finally, in that trouble, at them time, they know God. And I slung there. And I slung upon one of the chair and three chairs in front of me. And I draw up one in front of me. And I said, God, sit down there. We need to talk. Why when I said Jesus and Jesus Christ, demons communicating with me in an open chance or vision? And the first thing that came to my mind is Matthew 24, verse 5 and 24 that many will come in my name that they are Christ and then in verse 24 said if it were possible even the very elect could have deceived why because you cannot I repeat you cannot I emphasize you cannot test a pastor or a spirit by the miracles that they are doing because listen the devil also works miracles so because my pastor do this on my listen to me it don't necessarily mean that your pastor belongs to God. Many will come in my name, said that day. Have not I this in your name? Have I not cast out this in your name? And God will say, yes, but I do not know you. Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. So you cannot test a pastor or test a spirit by, by the, 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 um, the miracle that they do. So what happened now? Here was I broken for the first time because when I called for my... Um, my, my children and my mother come bail me. None of them come. Call for family member. None of them come. So I was there now. And then when I begin to pray, the two police them start laugh after me now. I don't mean, call you no name, but big up. Amen. And them start laugh after me now. Because they must say, what kind of madman this? And them thought, I ask Bellevue if you go. But my God, they didn't see what I see. I saw a releasing angel come to take me out of hell. Amen. Because... They were dealing with the physical aspect. But it was more than that. Listen to me. For us Jamaican to fight crime, praise the Lord, we have to tackle the spiritual realm first. Amen. You have to shut down the spiritual realm. You have to arrest the spiritual realm first. Because these demons are what influencing these youngsters. Amen. You can't even call them good man. You have to call them boys with gun. Amen. So these boys with gun. Amen are nothing but innocent. Amen. Because right now, if you should have one of them and I ask them where they are kill for them, tell us they're not to know. Honest to God. Because they are just under the influence of demons. So if we know as a church, you say now that the, 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 the Prime Minister sent the state of emergency, and now the fasting and prayer should have gone down there. Listen to me. The Prime Minister and the church have to work together. The reason for this is very simple. The Prime Minister represents us in the physical world. He's the one we put there. Our representative. The church is the one that represents us in the physical realm. And so therefore, the two of them have to partner together. So while the security first is force is working on the physical realm, the church needs to be locking down the spiritual realm. The reason for this is because these so-called church offer spiritual protection to these guys, these boys with gun. And so therefore you need to understand that every dad or done man, how you want to call them, have their own obey man. Praise the Lord. And it happened to be a church people. Amen. Because in a church work obey. Obey is working in the church. We, that is a eyes form of witchcraft. We give the Lord uh, thanks for uh, the disclosure that uh, he has enabled you to share. And for me, the high point really, because we believe uh, that this nation is being delivered as we speak Amen. in Jesus' name. And as the Lord continues to open the eyes of the intercessors and the remnant, mm -hmm. we will be in a better position to fight this war, to engage the enemy more effectively, and to shut the enemy down fulsomely. In the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes. In that in same Jesus, sequence. Yes. In that, same, in that same sequence. And so um, you are spot on 
with the whole the church now needs to be the church yeah. of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Nazareth should be working in tandem yeah, with the yeah. security forces. Amen. Amen. And, um, and one more thing I fact, must point in out. In fact, okay. last week mm-hmm. on the same program, mm-hmm. one of the servants of God based in the United States of America made a similar observation mm-hmm. that now is the time mm-hmm. that the church really should be going mm-hmm. into mm-hmm. that area where the state of emergency is to be um, shutting down and to be loosing and etc. Cetera, et cetera. So you are spot on where that is concerned. Amen. So what, what up on now is that we need to understand that the reason why we emphasize the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth is because Obiaman are spiritualists working the name of Jesus and Jesus Christ. Amen. But them can't say Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. And the reason why, even if them said Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the, 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 the spirits are going to leave. And because them are going to get weak, them now continue using the name because them don't want to feel weak. Because right now, five of our leading, we can't call no name, but five of our leading pastors right now, where Jamaica have, they are really wizard. Can't call them no name, praise the Lord. But they are really wizard. Amen. These are five upfront men who claim that they are Man of God. Amen. And we can call. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. But, alright, this is how much I say. I go down to one of them church one day in um, last year. Praise the Lord. 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 Praise we, the Lord. Right. So we, we the give Lord. the Lord uh, the praise and the glory. And Amen. Um, Amen. this, of course, as we have said from the start, is Amen. not about sensationalism. No. It is not about promoting, um, and I deliberately haven't even played the station ID because it is really giving honor and glory to the Almighty God, God in Amen. Christ. Amen. Now, now, it is because of God in Christ, Amen. through the Holy Spirit, Amen. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Nazareth. Amen. why you have been delivered, Amen. why you are not still in the dark world, Amen. building up, that kingdom. Because, you, you see, what's so important about this, you know, if you understand, the same role where Paul play is actually the same role that I was playing. Amen. And so that is why I can relate to Paul somewhat. Because here was Paul that um, he was grow into, if you understand Paul, you know, Paul was well taught, you know. And if you understand Acts chapter 9, verse 1, he said, and Paul breathing out. That means that basically, him eat and breathe. All right, he eat and breathe. Um, just, just the word of threat, threatening and slaughtering. Cause he was there when Stephen died, based upon the Bible. Yeah, he presided over. Yeah, it. And, and and against the disciple of the Lord. And notice where Paul went. He went unto the high priest. Forget these letters. These letters of condemnation to kill the church. So it's really the church fighting against itself. Praise the Lord, because some of the time, because of name tag. Amen. Because of greed. Amen. And sometimes it's because of total lack of knowledge. Bless the Lord Jesus. And so what happened now? There are three types of deliverance that I went through. I went through what you call an instant deliverance. A short term deliverance and a long term deliverance. The instant deliverance that I had, I hated God. I, listen to me. I hated God. Because here my at the age of 14 inside of a church and I get corrupt, that's demons start talking to me and I blame God for that out in the atmosphere now because I, I actually blame God for that I said God, if you are the one who do this to me, then I want to have nothing to do with you, then the pastor now, that, the bishop now that made the pass at me, remember um, the Romans chapter 1 verse 27, he made the pass at me so when me sign up for your Bible class now upon Winward Road, praise the Lord um, when I, the first day I went there, the, 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 the teacher was telling me, said God was showing Moses. She was explaining Exodus chapter 33, where God was, uh, Moses said, God, I want to see you. And God said, No, you can't see me. But in the future, you shall stand up on a rock. The rock was Jesus Christ. The rock is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So God was telling Moses, You can't see my face. No. But he said, In the future, Anytime you see S-H-A-L-T, it means future. Praise the Lord. Anytime in the future, when Jesus Christ of Nazareth come, only then can you come to me in prayer and you will see me. 
Praise the Lord. So what happened now? The woman was telling me that um, God was showing Moses the waistband to the buttock cheek. So I said, God, I may use the word. Yeah, 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 them kind of people there because the pastor make up pass at me and now this woman telling me this. So yeah, them the type of so I said, I don't have nothing to do with you. So I hated God for that. So right there, so now I got a instant deliverance where where he would have delivered me from the spirit of hatred for him. And then immediately when I was being delivered, for the first time, I felt a peace inside. And I felt as if something hold me, hugging me. Amen. And for the first time, I felt a calm inside. Amen. That was an instant deliverance. And so what would have happened now while I was there, um, the police realized that there was a change. Can we get calm and all? And he realized that there was a change and I was actually there worshiping. Instantly, me get station bail. The same person where I tell me, say, them now nah, bail me. Them said, okay, fine, you're qualified now for station bail. And I get station bail. And the first thing I do when I get station bail is went back straight to 15 Milk Avenue. And I apologized to that young lady. I said, look here, I was wrong. But the thing is, I was under the influence of demonic demons. And she already knew how we spent nine years together. And she would have seen the visions and heard. One I tell me, I'll jump off a bed and I run from demons. So she would have known them someday. So I tell her, I said, look here, I really, the influence of, she, she was understandable. And she said, okay, she forgive me. And I slept right there before her on the floor. And as early as possible that morning, I went to the Edna Mandy Clinic in the Grand Spen era. And that's where I get treatment for this burn that I had. Praise the Lord Jesus. We, but the, but, the, but the, the, something continue. Because what had happened now, I start going on church. Praise the Lord. But God would have used a witch, a, a wizard, a next wizard now, to preach me in to the kingdom. Listen, tell God will use anything or anybody just to get your attention. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. So God would have used now a sorcerer to preach me into the kingdom. Amen. And when he used the sorcerer to preach me in the kingdom, he revealed, say, look here, he's a sorcerer. Why did God reveal that to me? Very simple. I want you to acknowledge me as God, but I don't want you to do what he's doing. Amen. Uh, good note on which to um, end. And uh, we continue to um, bear you up in our prayers as we continue to see the hand of God uh, working um, in your life and we pray that he will use you to continue to lead many to him. Um, we thank you also for your courage um, and your willingness to, to share openly the experience. I believe many have learned uh, many things um, having sat and listened to um, your disclosure. And so, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we thank you for this season that you have allowed us to enter, uh, to experience. We bless you for the ways in which you have uh, sharpened our awareness. We have been able to appreciate the uh, wiles of the devil um, taking place right in front of us, right under our noses, and some of us um, in our homes, in, in the churches we attend, uh, the schools, uh, our places of work, in our communities. And we, we, we thank you, Father, for the ways in which you have uh, reawakened us and opened our eyes to, to see the, 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 the dangers that are out there. You have also helped us to connect the dots and to examine some of the things we do and say, the practices and traditions that have been handed down to us. And so, Father, we thank you for all of that. We have also been uh, able to see the clear connection between crime and violence and all the various bad things that are happening in our society and world with the devil and all his emissaries. But we thank you, God, that... In all of this, we affirm you as sovereign. We assert, uh, uh, affirm you as Lord. We affirm you as King of Kings. We affirm you, hallelujah, as God in flesh in Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We thank you even now that you are purging, 
purging hearts that you are delivering persons who are in bondage in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We thank you that every door, every portal that Hallelujah. has been opened up by the forces of darkness, Hallelujah. that you in the mighty name of, of Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ of, of Nazareth, Nazareth are now slamming those shut Hallelujah. in Jesus' name. We thank you for the, 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 the blood covering of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that is now being placed over this compound, this station, the airwaves. And even those who are listening, we thank you that you, uh, in and through the Holy Spirit, are delivering them, setting them free. You are breaking curses, generational curses, in the mighty name of Jesus, of Jesus Christ, Christ, of, Christ Nazareth. of Nazareth. Hallelujah. We thank you that you are cutting loose uh, shackles and yes, chains Lord. of bondage. You are Hallelujah. moving scales from the eyes of uh, your people in the mighty name of Jesus, of Jesus Christ, Christ, of Christ of Nazareth. We thank you that every form of backlash from the enemy is now cancelled in the mighty name of, of Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ of, of Nazareth. Nazareth. We decree and declare you as Lord. We decree and declare you as King of Kings. We decree and declare you as the one true God in Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. We place uh, Brother uh, Smith in your hands, his family in your hands. And we decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that you will use him, continue to use him to your honor and glory. Continue, Lord, to purify him so that even as he walks and he talks and he shares the testimony, persons will see you. God in Jesus Christ of Nazareth, through the Holy Spirit, in him, they will hear you in Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in his voice, the message, and all that he seeks to do. And he'll be careful in everything he says and does to give you, Almighty God, in Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the honor and the glory. We bless you, we honor you, and we praise your most holy name. In Jesus Christ of Nazareth we pray. Amen and amen and amen. To God be the glory. Bless you and uh, thank you for sharing with us um, over these hours. Amen. Uh, thank you for your openness. And we pray a blessing on you, blessing on your family. And we pray that you will continue to follow in the footsteps of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God bless you. Bless you, my brother. Thank you again. You're welcome. You see what we lay upon in Ezekiel 33. Yes. When the watchman saw. Hallelujah. Then he have to speak. Yes. And that what I would and if I could just share one thing. Jamaicans, amen. You are not informant. You are listen to me. That is a devil code. For you keep your silent. You are a messenger. Tell what you know. You are a messenger of the Lord God. So if you see a message, listen to me. Tell what you know. Take by our country by force. You are not an informer. You are a messenger. Amen. The devil call you informer because I want to keep you silent. But God call you messenger. Bless the Lord. To God be the glory for the great and marvelous things he has done and continues to do. God bless you.